Alright, now I'm looking at the chat again. Alright, what's going on, people? Is it working? You guys see it? Looks like it's... Right? Okay, looks like we're good. Alright. So you guys know how I do. I probably won't do this all in one shot. Like, I usually, like I've been doing lately. This is probably going to be a two, maybe even a three part. Especially if I have to do some stuff later today. Before the WWE pay-per-view. So... Right now, for me, it's 2.53. I'm thinking maybe I put three hours today. So, like usual, I got RB Nori open on the side just in case the frame data is off here. And this is my screen, my main screen with Tekken. This is my screen with RB Nori and the chat. So, starting from the top, like usual, he has a standard jab, 10 frames, plus one on bl uh, block, plus eight on hit. Nothing special. Then he has one one. So that's one I already know about because you usually see they go into a low out of this string. Yeah, that low. Uh, the one one by itself, 15 damage, 17 damage, one one is negative two on block plus nine on hit, natural combo obviously. Okay, that's not a 10 frame counter hit string. If the low connects, the high connects, good damage. Uh, one one three three. Alright, this is the thing a lot of Huaran players use too much. Anybody who's even remotely good is going to low parry or block the low. Typically low parry, because then if you just do 1-3 by itself, they don't have to worry about the high. So, don't get too used to using this. This is something you use every once in a while. And the thing about it is, I don't think it's 1-1 one -one is all that great to be baiting it. I mean, maybe it's alright. You throw a lot of 1-1 one -one out, and then eventually when they start mashing after it, you throw in the 3-3, three -three, right? Um, the 3-3, three, three, even if they cr uh, crouch and stand block, it's negative 14, just showing enough. I didn't know that. I would just low pair, like I said, and not deal with the high at all. So, this kind of makes the 1-1 one, one a little bit buff, I guess, because it is negative 2 on block, as you see there. So, it's alright. It's not bad. Especially since his movement looks alright. His back dash not so great. Nah, his back dash looks alright. It's about average. I know his sidestepping is fine, too. And he has a unique back dash when you have, um... One thing you should know up front about Huarang is, he has... Depending on how you... How you depending on what you would call a stance, he has four stances, right? He has... This is left foot forward, his regular stance. As you, as you could uh, assume, left foot forward is his left foot forward, right? Then he has right foot forward. Uh, you press 3 plus 4 to go into it neutrally, right? Uh, without a string. Now the thing is, when he's right foot forward, if you, uh... If you uh, tap forward and walk forward, he goes back into the left foot forward. If you back dash, he does a hop back. And then if you back dash and hold back, I think, he switches back to left foot forward, which creates even a little more space than just a hop back. Like, if you just do the hop back, it creates that much space. If you hold it, he creates a little bit more space. Just a little more. And then he has, of course, right, uh, right flamingo and left flamingo. Which auto sidesteps. This is forward plus three. What is it? Forward neutral three? No, forward plus three? Yeah, forward plus three. And it uh, does an auto sidestep to his right. So, I said four stances because I consider Huarong's back turn to be a unique stance. Because he has unique. I don't know how to go into it. How do you go into it? There it goes. Because he has unique moves out of it. Like more than the average character. I don't know, maybe it's just one move. Yeah, he has like a couple of unique moves. Not as not as many as like a Ling Zhaoyu or a Raven, Master Raven. But he has a couple of unique moves out of his uh, back turn. That's why I consider it a stance also. Not really. I mean, typically it's just uh, right foot forward, uh, left flamingo, and right flamingo. So now we got that out of the way, right? Oh, his back turn goes to the left foot forward. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Are there unique moves also? Oh, looks like he has, uh, what's it called, Plasma Blade out of that shit. Okay, so I didn't know about that. Thank you, uh, Sasuke. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. Alright. Uh, yeah, so he has right foot forward and left foot forward from back turn. So I guess if you want to count those two as two separate stances, you can make it more like five stances. But the thing is, his move list, you really want to get crazy out of, like, the Flamingos and the right foot forward. 
Another weird little quirk about Right Foot Forward is the uh, Just Frame version of Laser Scraper, uh, Laser Scraper, sorry, uh, Skyrocket. Laser Scraper is gin. It's, historically, it's easier in Right Foot Forward, which is like, I'm unable to show because I suck at it. I never had to really do a Just Frame like this. Unless they changed it, but I remember in Tag 2, it was like stupid easy if you did Right Foot Forward. Now nah, I'm not even getting it once. I should turn on my uh, display command history, right? I don't know, maybe they changed that. It feels the same now, I guess. But in tag still, I know 100%. It was easier from right foot forward for some reason. Alright, so now back to the jab series. So yeah, 1-1 one, one is negative 2 and plus 9. Uh... 1, 2 is a little more damage, um, but only plus 7. So, like I said, if you want to, like, pressure with a couple of 1-1s one and then throw in the 3-3 three, three to stop them from mashing after 1-1, one, one, that is an option, but it is risky. I don't think uh, you could sidestep if you block the 1s. Stand guard. Well. Yeah, you're not going to sidestep that, so you have to, like, you get stuck there. And I don't think you can delay it, can he? But you can't delay any of it either. So you're stuck in place after the 1-1 one, one on block. If he goes into the 3-3. Three, three. Right, alright. That's by 15, right? Because like I said, it was your low parry. Even if he hits you. Yeah, so if he hits you, you cannot low parry it, so you have to block it. It's one of those where you don't get enough frames to low parry if he hits you. And the thing is, it's low high, so if you block it, you could actually go, well, he has like a weird issue where he doesn't have a wall standing launcher. But you could, uh, you could do other options, maybe not that, too slow, but... Too slow there, too. Alright, well... I don't know what he would do if he were to duck a low high like that, because uh, he might have to just rely on like that into a free follow-up. Because while not his wall standing plus is kind of whatever outside of wall standing 4-4. Since he doesn't have a traditional like 15 frame or 14 frame wall standing launcher, and he can't hop kick from uh, from crouching. He only could do hunting hop, which is super slow. Delay hop kick might not... You might not have enough time for that. I don't know. I look like I did it. Okay, so you can fit that in there if you are super sharp. Although in the case of this string, it's a little slow, so it's not too bad. I was trying to skyrocket. You can also crouch cancel. Um, you don't even need a crouch cancel play. You can just hold back and press 3. Wow. You don't want to fuck that up, though, because that's launch punishable. So you got to get uh, kind of creative when you duck highs with Hanan, because... Um, if you want full damage. If you don't want to deal with that, you could do like while standing 3 as you go to um, duck under high punish because he gets a, some sort of free follow up out of that. Whatever it is. I think that that's one of them, for example. He might even be able to floor break. We don't know yet. We'll get there. So yeah. 1-1 one, one seems alright, but 1-1-3-3. One, one, three, three, be careful with that, right? And it says negative 14. I don't see a 14 frame move I could use here. Up. Uh, that's 15, right? That's 14, right? So... There you go. 14 frame punish. And then 15 didn't work. My suggestion, if you're going to guess one, is just, if you think that's coming, low parry. Don't bother with the block. Don't bother with the guessing game, because if he just does the low... Not that you'll see that too often, but... Negative 12. So it's not even that, it's not even like if you were to block it and properly punish it, you would get that much more reward. Just low pair it. And you don't have to deal with it. And then if you try to wall standing, I'm sure he'll interrupt you, right? Yeah, see? Alright, 1-2 is next. Standard stuff. And then he has two extensions. Sorry, he has 1, 2, 3, 4 extensions. Uh, so 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 goes to left flamingo. 1, 2, 4, I'm assuming right flamingo. Yep. Um, 
According to RB, nowhere the frame data off of one two on block into the flamingos is plus. While otherwise, uh, let me make him block it. You see how it says negative one on block? All right, good. RB nowhere doesn't know. Uh, actually, RB nowhere does kind of know because if you look at the uh, right side right now, it says negative three. That's interesting. No, it says the same thing here though. All right, never mind. I threw myself off. According to RB Norway, when you go to Flamingo off of one two on block, you're plus three. So on either Flamingo, so I know a way to test this. I'm just gonna test it with an A-frame though. Yeah. 14 frames. Oops, wrong button. Uh, okay, 3-3. Three, three. There you go. 11 frame exchange. So that's plus 3. I exchange an 11 frame with his 14 frame move. Plus 3 on block. I am I on stick? Yes, I am. I am on the fucked up Itoki Omni. I'll show this off again in case, uh, uh, hot. So, first of all, if I shake it around, he's only going down. My down switch is fucked up. There's another way I can show it. Um, you see how he's still ducking? So, yeah, my Itoki Omni stick is fucked up. <laughs> but,. Otherwise, it's great. <laughs> um, so yeah, either Flamingo left or right, he's at plus three. At hit, it says plus 11 GB. Guard break, interesting. No way. I don't know what GP means here, but if he is at plus 11, I can still block. Because that's an A-frame move, and I'm able to block it. Those two kicks are A-frames. Um, so I'm guessing it's just one of those plus 11 frame matches that you can still guard in. <coughs> yeah, guaranteed block. That's what it stands for. Thank you, sir. Alright. So... If he goes into so I guess that would be the ideal jab punish for him. One two into the into your flamingo mix-ups, unless he has a high damage ten frame that I don't know about yet. So if you want to force your mix-ups, it seems like on block or on hit you could do that pretty well with this, right? So when I get to the actual flamingo stuff, there's some weird rules and some weird stuff you could do that I've I've heard of through osmosis, but I never really tested myself. Stuff like oh, um, even though he's at plus. You could move, still kind of move around. You could kind of challenge him with a crouch jab, which will force him to use the slower flamingo options. And when you open up the slower flamingo, force him to use the slower flamingo options, you could actually start to challenge him with jabs or quick mids. That's what I've heard. When I see the actual frame data for the flamingo stuff, I'll go back to this. But got to remember this: plus, plus three, one, two, three, plus three, one, two, four, plus three. Uh, the other option here is one, two, forward three. I think this might be his actual jab punish, isn't it? No, it's not. Is that a counter his turn? No, that's not even a counter his turn. Alright, so... One, two, forward, three. I'm not sure why that's there. He has one, two, four, four also. Ah, that's a classic. So this is one of those where if you go to this, uh, if you go into this on block a few times, and people try to like cross jab you. It is a high though, so maybe it's not quite for that. I don't know what the purpose of this move is. Uh, according to RB Norway, up close, this is plus on block. 
wondering what it means. Alright, so it's a different animation. When he's far away, you see how he just blocks and he's standing. But then when he's up close, that stagger block. So you get a visual confirmation. So that stagger block is plus. Plus quite a bit. Plus eight. The bot here. But the far away one, if I look at the bot. Ugh, make him stand. So he doesn't move back. No, that won't work. Yes, he's stand guarded. In front of uh, this is annoying the space. That, negative 10, is that right? Yeah, it says negative 11 to negative 10 for far away. Not that you'd be punished unless it's gigas. So you probably don't have to worry about that. Uh, I have a look at the chat. <laughs> so, the gigas would be able to punish this probably if you block it from far away. But everybody else, they're not going to reach, I think. Like, not even Bob. It's hard to space to. forward for ah oh my god I can't do a one two forward four this is ridiculous there you go man so yeah there's no stop no there's no sidestepping it maybe that's what this this is used for other than maybe it being a tailspin no it's not a tailspin but it is a high so you can totally launch that Looks like a big whiff. No, not big enough. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. Or as Sasuke said before, the late hop kick. The late hop kick seems faster than uh, Hunting Hawk. Uh, can he interrupt it? No, you can't. Alright, I want to see if you can backdash to make it, like, negative. It is also push block, so you want to be careful what you're swinging with afterwards. If you swing with something that has a lot of range, they might not be able to sidestep it, like maybe a forward 4 4 So if I do, like, a uh, stand guard, no, maybe guard all. Into a uh, sidewalk, just pick a random direction. It's gonna be hard to do. This is hard to do because he fucking steps back because of the guard. See, so like, I don't know if that would track. You see? It doesn't track regularly, but off of even with that push block, you could do an instant 443 without delaying it to add tracking. That's an example, right? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Whatever. So you saw this connected before you try to sidewalk, right? Oh, usually you would have to do like a deeper dash and delay it. Or sidestep with him in this case. Right? But I didn't have to because of the plus 8. So even though you see that much push block, you could still work with that depending on how much range your follow-up uh, has. And they'll be unable to sidestep the linear shit. You won't probably you probably won't reach for something like a down forward uh two though. Yeah, that that one doesn't even have the range, so it's not even worth testing further than that. Um two, four, four. And then go back to one, two, three, it says negative eight. So what's the deal with this string? So if I were just to guess right now, these are just like ways to stop people from mashing stuff after they block the one two, like just just like the one one three three, right? And then when you stop them from mashing, you could go in, you could you could better you could strengthen the options when you go into flamingo instead of uh, doing the built and follow. The thing is, like if I were just to assume, like the plus three should do that already, shouldn't it? Maybe there's something about the flamingo options that this would fuck with them. You know, maybe they could sidestep everything otherwise. I don't know. Uh, I didn't record it, my bad. Let's 
character is weird. Yeah, you can't sidestep it. So, like, that's another way maybe to use this, because uh, Left Flamingo, right? He's got that. Five AM, huh? Oops. Why the hell? Are, yeah, it's five AM. All right, just doing these random. I'm just pressing like one, two, three, and four to see what comes out. Ah, oh, he said right foot forward. That's why. All right, he got a jab right out of it, huh? So let's just try jab real quick. Ah, left for that one. That was 2-2, two, two, or 2-1, two, maybe. Mm. So it seems like left is the way to go. Off left flamingo. Oh, you got the rear. So it's as I thought, right? So let me try that 1-2-4 options. I know that the forward 4, you can't sidestep. That looks slow. Maybe I didn't press it fast enough. Huh. That was kind of funny looking. <laughs> it looks like because of the lean of the sidestep, he's ducking under it. Like, But if I hold back off of the sidestep, I block it. So he's like ducking with his sidestep. Looks weird. His left foot. Left foot forward or left foot bingo? Left foot bingo stance. LFS is left foot bingo stance. All right. Uh, what's up, Liquid God? How you doing? I got it. If Aris would listen to me, I'll show him. <laughs> All right. I'm using the independent window for display bot. That's why I'm looking at it on my other screen, not on my actual tech screen. I don't think Aris would like doing that, though. All right. So, uh, Sasuke is saying that his left flamingo stance tracks sh a shitty. So, that for is that when you say Sasuke, that's what makes this useful. These built in options out of the jabs that he'd have to use that to stop people from sidestepping. I do know that right flamingo forward four tracks really well. I used to did before. I don't know about now. Let me. That's an A frame high. So, like, OSing through it. Ah, uh, seems like this, these right foot full, uh, right flamingo rather, buttons you have to, you want to go right because this tracks left. That's the same move he does in left flamingo, doesn't except in the opposite direction. All right, so just to show you guys what I'm talking about, like that's gonna track. I know that for a fact. Yeah, you can't even move at all. That's an eight frame high. You can't even OS, but it's a high. So that's when you start getting shit like that. You can't do shit, you know what I'm saying? Forcing him to... Not sure. All right, well, that's it's a guess. That's just me uh, assuming, you know, maybe... So like uh, Sasuke saying his tracking in Left Flamingo isn't great. As, as you saw based on what I was doing before. I mean, I didn't do every move out of it. He has more options, but the basic options, the fast options, seems like you can get around it pretty easily going to your left. So you're going to want to consider mixing that in because as you saw before that while that is safe on block it's low reward but it beats out uh sidestepping and it is safe on block and it has good range so you can't backdash away from it either so it'll keep you covered it doesn't combo in any situation maybe the two jab uh, i gotta turn on the stand block yeah see the two jab it combos off of on counter hit only. Which is kind of whatever, you know? Like, they, they can't match between jabs, so. That's just if you want to come in from, like, this range, so you whiff your jabs and you come in with it. Alright. I don't know, he goes one suit to Flamingo in general, seems pretty damn good. Depends on how hard we can blow it up, right? Next, he has a 2 3. Ah, and 2 4. 
Is this the one? Is this how he does the? Is this how he does the guard break up the wall? Is this the input? He has some sort of guard break. I know that. I don't know where it, what it's out of. And yeah, he has the same options if you just go right into it. Yeah. Ah, that is a counter hit combo. A lot of damage. Alright, this is really good. This is a really great counter hit tool, in my opinion, because I think so earlier the high is plus on block, right? It is a high though, so they can duck it. It's a big whiff too. But that's really good reward for just like a 10 frame counter hit. Really great reward. And then um two forward three. Alright. And then the uh, 2, 4, and 2, 3 for the Flamingo, same frame data. Plus 3 on block, plus 11 on hit, plus 12 on counter hit. Everything else, the data is the same, according to this. Right foot forward, 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 3, 4. There you go, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. Because I just remember he had like a jumping high kick. It looks, it looks uh, similar. There you go. That's the one. All right. We'll get there when I want to get to it on the list. I was just curious. So, same frame data, like I said earlier. And you might get a... Um... No, no. Never mind. Same frame data. That does combo. So this is what I was curious about. Yep, that's a natural combo on counter hit. Not that it's a big deal, because he needs to counter hit on the two kicks to get the launch. But uh because what I'm saying here is that what I'm saying here is the two by itself on counter hit is plus nine, but if you transition it to the flamingo, you get an extra plus three, just like you do on block. So it becomes plus twelve. Which is not showing in the frame data. So because uh, you get the counter hit plus 12 it's a right Flamingo, you'll uh, be able to natural combo the uh, forward four at Flamingo. It seems like that happens on a uh, regular hit also, actually, because this is an A-frame high. Well, I regular hit is uh, it's plus 11, so that makes sense. Nope, I was wrong. Sorry, you need counter hit. Yeah, you need counter hit it combos. Um, I wonder what else combos out of that. Anything else? No, that's too slow. No, it looks like everything else is too slow. Definitely too slow. So just the forward four. Uh, blue flag. Doesn't wall splat anymore, by the way. Oh, his guard break doesn't wall splat anymore? Good to know. That was such a noob killer. Oh, it killed me. I love a fucking noob, that's why. Alright. So, 2 4 for Flamingo stuff. Alright. Progress. Uh, and 2 is still 10 frames. Zero on block. Oh, good. We got a zero on block option to test uh, tracking. Next, we got 3. 3 3. Oh, that's not a natural combo. That's 3 3 3. 3 3 4. Which goes to right, uh, right Flamingo. 3 3 forward 4 for the Flamingo dash. 3 3 4. F forward, sorry. 3 3 forward for left Flamingo. 3 3. There it goes. That's 3 3 4 4. And 3 tilt at 4. All of that attached to is 3. Okay, let's see what we got here. Negative 7 on block. Not special. The 3 3 doesn't combo as we saw earlier, but on counter hit, I'll bet it does. Yeah. That doesn't combo. How about 3 3 4? That doesn't combo on counter hit either. Not regular hit. Okay, on counter hit, second hit makes the third hit combo. You could probably hold back for that knockdown. 
Uh, three, three, three. You can't. Interesting. So you get the free follow up there. What's the one one for active frames? Are oh, you with the one one? What one slash one? What are you talking about? I don't see what you're talking about. Three 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 people for duck the three three four. Yeah, I figured that much so far, but uh Mav, what do you mean by the one one for active frames? Okay, that combos. Only on counter hits like the other one. Trying to get four four three out of that. There you go, four four four. I guess. What's going on, Puffkin? Uh, the frame data overlay on the far right. Oh, uh, active. I don't know. I'm assuming that's supposed to be telling you how many active frames they are. Oh, I think I know. Just a guess, right? So if you look at the top move, right, forward plus three, it says active four out of five. I think it means I hit on the fourth active frame. I think. That's my guess. I don't know what four three is talking about, though. Maybe not. Three out of seven? That doesn't make any sense. Seven active frames? Ah, I don't know what that is. I'd have to read up the bot stuff. <laughs> Uh, forward three, nu uh, neutral four. Ah, as a follow-up. So you mean when the four hits? Wait, forward three, neutral three. Oh, oh I know what you're talking about. Thirty-five damage versus. Oh. Damn, I can't get it. Damn, I guess that is easier to hit. I thought that was easy to hit because I got it the first time. Thirty-four damage, and it's one more damage. So that's your follow-up there. If you get that knockdown off of this, forward three, neutral three. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Four plus three, neutral three. Four plus three, neutral three. Weird move. So only in that specific situation it gets that special uh, hit effect. But on a neutral situation, it's just like a poke. Interesting. Alright. Three, three. Not four, three. That knocks him out of alignment to your right. Um... Negative one. It says Y. <laughs> y axis, I'm guessing that means. And it knocks down on normal hit. Well, who is my main? I don't have a main right now. I guess it would be a Shaheen. But I've just been doing these training modes, this training mode stuff, so I can't say I really have a main. Marduk was my main. Rest in peace. <laughs> now he's in the hospital right now, apparently. Did I test this already? Okay, so just like the other strings, counter hit on the second hit makes a combo. Uh, forward three, neutral three would be the right notation. Neutral plus three. Uh, it's like a tilde. Yeah. One after the other to make a pass. Ah, okay, that's why I'm thinking it's a poke. Because that's, <laughs> I'm getting just a standing three. But you have to do it really fast. Forward three, bam. Press like, you got to mash three twice. But just make sure the forward is... Hit with the first three. Uh, special encounter here. Alright, cool. Good shit. And then this is a move that is using combos right off of this, isn't it? Isn't that a bake move? Like, I'm pretty sure it's a juggle, so I want to see how it hits to make sure. Just... 
Yeah. See, it picks up weird. Second seven. This is a good one to pick up, amigo. It's the easiest one. Backdash once. I can't even get a, a, a skyrocket. <laughs> I suck at this move. I'm not good at this notation. I don't play these kind of characters. Wow, I didn't even get the tilde. Damn, why is it not coming out of it? Alright, it's just me sucking. Alright, that makes it more consistent. Is that still really good with the new scaling though? Because it's two hits post launch. So you instantly take the 70% scaling and the 50% scaling with those two hits. So I don't, I'm not sure if that's even that, as good as it used to be. I'm assuming no, I don't know. Wow, you uh, you know what just frame is? This move has a just frame version where you see blue sparks. It seems like I'm pressing forward to slow, forward to slow. Wow, I did it earlier. I can't do it again. There it is. I got it once. Once out of like 20 tries. You can see it's because I'm pressing the 4 too slow. I'm getting a down forward input and then down forward plus 4. That's why you, when you practice this kind of thing, you want to turn on command capture. See? When you get the forward with the neutral and down forward four clean, with the, down f with the four button under the down forward input, you'll get it. If you get it like that, you get a regular ass down forward four. So you get a, nice, a little visual indicator of how slow you're pressing it. Whatever, you get the idea. I'll be stuck here all day in this fucking vortex of practicing it just for him. Back to the important shit. So this is only negative three on block. That's pretty good, with some pushback. Let me take the tracking on some of this stuff, because I didn't do that before. Yeah, I know, it's easier than right foot forward. At least it used to be. I don't know if it, oh, okay, you, I see why it's easier. They give you a bigger window, because I'm getting it even though I'm getting it off of the second down forward input there, you see it? So it is still easier. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. It was just me sucking before, that's it. Um, so, standing three doesn't seem to have any real tracking. Too far. Alright, the other move I was looking at is this is too slow to really test for tracking, so I'm gonna assume this one. Yeah. And he moves forward quite a bit, it's a big whiff too, so you can get behind him and really punish him hard for that. Um, Alright, pump up the AC, it's getting hot up in here. <laughs> practicing hold on always says like this just frame skyrocket yeah it's addicting to practice just frames even if it's not a character that you're interested in using because I sure as I'm not interested in using hold on I'm interested in knowing what he could do though it's like I've been doing with all, every other character alright so <coughs> is this 4 a magic 4? it's 11 frames no oh that's a natural combo this would be his 11 frame punish then. 
Yeah, 4 3. That was special on kind of hit. That's pretty good. So it's 10 free punches, kind of whatever. It's just 1 2 to whatever, or 1 1. Uh, 1 2 should be really the 10 free punch, right? But uh, this is a pretty solid 11 frame punish. Well, this is about your average 10 frame punish here, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't call it solid, maybe. But it looks like it has good range, at the very least. Better than a jab, that's for sure. Yeah, a little bit better than a jab. Uh, that's a combo. That's definitely not a combo. Try to see if he has any uh, counter hits. So just... I'm noticing a pattern here. It's like a kick, 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 and then the kick, kick, and the other kick button. And then the other button, kick, kick. You know, he has three, 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 four. And now he has four, 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 three, and four, four, four. Oh, in the case he had, now he also has four, 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 and four, 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 three. Press kicks, man. What's up, uh... Uh, Jeff Jeffarov action. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Alright, so forward to forward four. So. I do that. Oh, forward to. That goes into. Okay, that's the going to Flamingo. Oh, he goes to Flamingo either way, so why is forward to forward four a separate move? Hmm. I'm not seeing what it is. I think for a 10 frame punish, he can use one, two, forward four. Yeah, but that's a combo. I, I went over the 10 frame punish before. Like, uh, those built in follow ups are more as like the turn to stop people from mashing or sidestepping. Not that they should be mashing anyway, because this it's, a, it's a, the flamingos are are plus three on block, but still. Um, so I don't know what's going on here. RB Norway says four four is a separate move from four forward four, but it looks like it's the same move to me. Four into Okay, that's four four. That's off of two fours. Uh two four four two four four is a is a counter hit combo. See? I went through that before. So just uh, just uh, just to recap. Two uh two four four is a counter hit combo, two three uh two forward three is also a counter hit combo, and uh two flaming uh, right flamingo forward four is a counter hit combo also. Not that, not that that's worth doing over the other high option, but you know. It might jail. Oh, think about it. You know what? Let me test that real quick. I doubt it. No, that's a gap there. That'd be crazy. Yeah, okay. Just in case. That is a really fast high, that's why I wanted to test that. Does he have a magic four? No, that's why I was wondering, Puffkin. He doesn't. He has a bunch of strings attached to his four. And 4-3 uh, is uh, his 11-frame uh, punch, clearly. Or 4-4, four, four, if you want to go to Flamingo instead. So, 4-4, four, four, forward 4. Oh. I see it. 4-4, four, four, forward 4. That goes into right foot forward, like Sasuke was saying. So I'm guessing that should be the case here. But I can't get it. I'm thinking Army Noe is saying you could go into a right foot forward off of the second 4 2. But I can't get it. Oh, there it was. Okay. Damn, that's hard. Because you have to hit the 4 like a tilde, like bam bam. You can't delay it at all. So it makes it really awkward to input, for me at least. I, if you're used to it, I'm guessing it's not a big deal. But yeah, so he has the option to go into right foot forward or flamingo out of the 4 4 or the 4 4 4. If you press forward plus four, you go to right foot forward. If you press just four by itself, you go to the flamingo. Yeah. 
All right. That's uh, negative 16. Is that right? 4-4. Four, four. Uh, that's not right. Is it? Is that right? Oof. Look at that block. Dude. That's right. Now, you see, I try... Like, the, the thing that makes it weird to match is you have to time the forward four, Sasuke. That's why I'm having trouble doing it. If you, you gotta time that forward. Like, it feels easier to do off of the three hit one. Like, that's way easier to do. Yeah, because that third, that third four you can kind of delay. The first two you have to go pop, pop. And uh, this would be a way to go to right foot forward with plus six. So if you do the four, uh, four, four, plus four, this is a uh, 11 frame way. That's negative five on block. It's not a good way to go to Flamingo on block, it looks like, because you could get interrupted really hard. Let me do the fast move. The fastest move, right? Oh. Okay, second bot f failed me on this one. Second bot failed me hard on this one. Okay. <laughs> so his A frame high, counter hit high is interrupting my jabs. So it's not as bad as I thought. And RB Norway doesn't have the frame data on me. So I don't know what the frame data is. Uh, but it's good enough to make his 8 frame counter hit thing uninterruptible. That's a built-in string. That's a string. There's a jab. Okay. So maybe it's like negative one. Assuming that jab is still 10 frames. I'll get there. I'm going through the list. So, it, it, my guess is assuming that 2 jab is 10 frames, then it's negative 1. Because this, uh, this is 8 frames. That, that shit. And my, it beat out my jab. Alright, well, let me, let me... Anyway, let's go back to... Um, the good shit. So, that's 4-4, four, four, and then 4 forward 4. Right, good way to go into these stances on hit. 4-4-3 uh, four, four, is to stop people from mashing and sidestepping, I'm guessing, right? Let's see if we can side... There's a, there, it looks like there might be a gap there they can sidestep. Oof. You can start your sidestep, but he eats you up. And there's like too much reach to backdash. <coughs> Even if you block a shallow. Can you size up you block a shallow? Nope. Yeah, so that definitely blows up side steps. Uh negative fifteen though, is that right? Let me see. Force crouch? Yeah, force crouch negative fifteen. Wow, the spacing is good though. That's 14 frames. Uh, damn, I can't even reach with that. So you gotta keep this in mind. If you're testing anti Huarang shit, if you wanna block this string, this is a string that I've seen people use, maybe not too much in a neutral, but in combos, but just in case you create, you're finding a crazy Huarang player and you don't, you don't know this kind of shit, you gotta know. Look, his while standing four isn't reaching, so I'll bet you that means most while standing fours aren't gonna reach. But it's negative 14, so you want to find out what your character has. What about if you block a shallow? Will his will all standing three still reach? Alright. It's kind of hard to block the shallow because he moves forward so much. Yeah, see, I if you block it. If you happen to block a shallow, you're not gonna reach. Uh, 
Oh, uh, thank you. I made a playlist just for this reason, because I'm sick of the second music. <laughs> Alright, um... So, 4-4-3. Four, four, it also leaves him in, in uh, right foot forward, as you can see. Uh, and when he's right foot forward, his 4-4-3 four, four, becomes the jumping one. So the follow-up would be, if it hits you, it would be the 4-4-3, four, four, right? I don't know if that's guaranteed, but you guys know? Yeah, I like Tekken music, but it's like, I'm not doing this sitting here for three hours and shit, you know? I gotta change it up. Oh. I should just record some of my stuff, shouldn't I? That'll be easier that way. That looks good. Ah, can't okay, block. That is guaranteed. Can't even start the side roll. Yeah, so that's probably guaranteed. I don't know if it would break the floor, but it's definitely guaranteed. It's Eliza Alfred Bill Hood in pre-order. I heard that she is. I don't know. I did do an Eliza video if you scroll down to the YouTube and click on it. Eliza's... I did her already. Alright. <laughs> so... Next we got... So... 4 4 4 uh, 4 4 4 4 So just like before, that puts you to right foot forward. Let's turn the guard back on. And just like before, the second hit makes the third hit counter hit, right? Uh, the second I'll count makes the third combo. So it just becomes a giant guessing game. A lot of ways to go to Flamingo with his kicks and right foot forward. And it's like, you could, uh, but you can't really delay these kicks. Yeah, if you delay it at all, he goes into the Flamingo moves. In the first two, you, uh, he doesn't have that. I'm gonna assume if the third hit combos, yeah, the third hit counter hits and combos uh, the last hit. Not on normal hit though. Same thing here. So that's just like four, four, three. You can add a third four. Yeah. And I'm gonna assume it's the same properties on that too, right? Yeah, all right. Same shit. <sighs> yeah, Lights has some cool stuff, man. Really cheap. Her size, her movement is trash though. Her side stepping is real bad, and her um, maybe her maybe this is her back dash. Maybe her side stepping was average, and her back dash was shitty. I forget. It's, it was a while ago. I did her. Uh, and the same case with the four hits, where this is negative fifteen. But I suspect maybe doing three kicks before might push you back more. So let's see. Ba 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 ba. Right, now, let's say you're still good to punish. You just need some space. Yeah. It's about the same spacing as him doing two fours and then three. <laughs> Alright. Uh, apparently, four, 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 four. That leaves him right foot forward, and that's plus two on block. Yeah, that's plus two. Uh, 10 frame, 10 frame, 12 frame instead of 11 frame, 16 frame. <laughs> oh, he does have a down forward to end of that. Not bad, not bad. Uh, 
that last okay, just, they're both just knockdowns on hit. Plus ten on the four four four. Arbinori, this is plus 10. If you stop at the dirt kick, but the Tekken bot isn't showing that. Did he block it? Yeah, it's just showing me at negative 5. But I can't reach with the A frame, so. What's going on, 7 Flash? How you doing, amigo? Alright, so that's his kick series. Just another another good way, like I said before, to go into his flamingos and right foot forward stands. And then there's a lot of other built-in mind games in the strings. Um, I ain't tested tracking on the floor. So that looks solid for his um, right side. Definitely good for his right side. Nice to have a fast, even if, even if it is a high, it's nice to have a very fast tracker like that for one side. I'm gonna assume nothing for the left though. Forward four does a really good job of realigning, even if the first hit with that right foot legal forward four. All right, this is kick series, so you're gonna want to sidestep his forward to your right. Next, you got one plus two, which is just turns him back turn, back turn with uh, right foot forward. I don't know what you would call that. I guess that would be back to right foot forward. Left foot forward. And three plus four switches. The feet. Next we got forward two. Forward two leaves you in right foot forward. Negative two on block plus nine on hit. That looks like it tracks to one side. Step. Ah, you put yourself in the three frame window though. Uh, the negative three window. Things get a little weird. Plus that spacing. I'm trying to see how much of a size step I gotta do it again. A little slight step forward to get us a uh, catch him. A little delay on it. Although, as you do it instantly, you whiff. <laughs> that fucking yeah, that that emo kills me every time. It's still new. All right, um, I didn't touch the other way, did I? Solid. How about for a walk? Yeah, 
Yeah, so in this direction, it's not as good. You have to do a deeper walk or sidestep. Or, of course, dash. Still, it, it seems really solid for sidestep. Sidewalking, not so much. Uh, if you want to sidewalk that move, I guess go to your right, but I wouldn't step because of that move personally. And also, he doesn't really move forward, it looks like, so you could probably back that shit really easily. Right. Uh, it's got some range on it. What the hell, do it? Oh, he's right foot forward. Weird stuff. That's the thing that's, that would fuck with my head playing with this character. He has, like, he might have the most transitions into different stances than any other character in the game. Like, even bef even with Lei, I think. I don't think Lei had this many um, ways to go into his stance. So then, you have to, like, flow chart it in your brain a lot more than usual. Make him dance. Dance with the music. And I, I would have to map one plus two to get it more consistently. I'm actually manually pressing both buttons. Alright, uh. Well, I'm in Steve. Yeah, Steve's got a lot too. By the way, forward two seems like a good move. It's the only negative two on block. It doesn't have any special going on on counter hit, it looks like. Yeah, it's the same thing. Plus nine. It's a little more damage. Sasuke! Alright, uh... 4 plus 3, neutral 3, yeah, we, we talked about that before. Bam, right? 4 plus 3 goes into left flamingo. It says 16 frames to start up. To go into flamingo, left flamingo, so... That's one thing. Um, this is a negative 16 on block move, so... Uh, um, by the way... You see how uh, left flamingo uh, four three? Sorry, yeah, left flamingo four three. It goes uh, to your right. So if you side step right and then do it, and then for example, like it makes it like extra evasive. So you can make that like an auto double side step right into like a quick power mid. That shit is super unsafe. Will the pushback fuck with it? Yeah, it does. Poor Hordong, he can't launch it. Or he put, maybe he can't actually. There you go. 16 frames. 16 frame long range. So, uh, this is one of those moves where you can launch it, but you need some range. You can jab it too, apparently. That's weird. I like how the Dot 4 2 is. You know why the Dot 4 2 is with me? Because he's, he's off accents, I think. If the jabs are hitting, the jab's hitting. Oh, wow, the jabs aren't hitting. It <laughs> hit that one time. Alright, standing four works. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you can definitely punish this. Back three? No, that's uh that's forward that's a uh, left flamingo neutral three. Forward three neutral three. Oh no yeah, back three, uh yeah, back three's lost punishable now. Plasma plasma blade, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, they made that shit like negative seventeen. You know? Uh, you know, if you, if you talk about opening him up, uh, DX, uh, DXA Demon, Eliza and Akuma, they, they can open you up pretty well, but they have to take huge risks. In the case of Eliza, her jumping is actually pretty gimmicky, because there's no tracking. Akuma has, has a tracking option for his jumping, so he has the better jumping. Uh, what they both have, though, is strong low options when they're up close. So, if you play keep out with them, you can really fuck them really hard. Uh, Akuma seems to get more reward in general. Eliza has that annoying dive kick bullshit, but like I think people just got to figure that out. I don't think she sucks, but I don't think she's that crazy. Yeah, I guess they made it worse on uh, on block. Negative nineteen. Is that right? No, that's not right. 
Yeah, that's right. Negative 19. Get fucked. <laughs> Trying to get, trying to get fucking fancy. <laughs> I want to see if I can do it once. Why electric punch so hard, right? Now imagine trying to do this kind of punish with Kazuya on a 13 frame move, 13 negative 13 on block move to get a perfect electric. Trying something like this will make you respect people that can do it a lot more. They put in that work. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> I ain't gonna get it. I'll be here all day. Plus my wrist. I don't want to fuck my wrist up again. Alright, uh, so yeah. Forward three, neutral three. Definitely want to punish that shit. Actually got forward four. <coughs> Interesting. Another way to go to right from me. You can do an auto sidestep left, uh, right foot mingo if you do forward neutral, uh, forward neutral forward four. What is it? What is it? Forward neutral forward. Yeah, forward neutral. Oh no, just forward neutral four. You can't do it off of a dash though. You have to tap forward and press four. So this goes to Red Flamingo, forward four, plus nine on it. Oh, whoa, hold on a second. So it's saying zero. RB Norway says this is plus 20. Startup of 4 4 4 4 17 frame startup. Okay. So you can guard during it. Tekken Bot says this is. Negative 11, but RB Noe said this is plus 9. Huh. Who do I believe? I had a feeling thinking about would be crazy with this cat, but that looks good. Yeah, I can't even jab. That shit jails. It's not a natural combo. But I can't even start to jab. It jails. I can't. I can't duck. <laughs> it doesn't combo, but it jails. That shit is plus nine. So a 17 frame high. That little hook kick. It's a right flamingo. You can't fuck with that shit on block. So the thing about these high uh, uh, transition stances is if you do duck them, they're huge like animation transitions. He has to mash. So you could open, uh, one thing to consider when you fight against Wanong, if you have like a, a good counter hit tool from while standing, like a Josie, you could probably fuck him up pretty bad. Because if he doesn't match, he's just stuck in this. So he won't get counter hit, but he can't block. So it's like, <laughs> he can't block it. Doesn't matter what it is. So, to avoid that, you can try to do the 8 frame high, right? I 
And the thing is, if you fuck up your wild standing punishment or something like that, right? It'll, uh, it'll counter hit launch you. Just like that. That's why they're gonna mash. That's probably what they would mash on with. <laughs> What's up, Lion Cock? Forward, okay, forward so far, I did that already. So, uh, yeah, this is a fucking cheap move. Let's see how it tracks. That looks like it would track to his left. Yeah. I'd walk right. Yeah, so it's pretty. It is. It is slow. So you. You know. If you got somebody that's mashing too much, and it is odd. Right, like I said, you get somebody that's mashing too much. You gotta be a little more careful. But very solid tracker to his uh, his left. So you can kind of mix it up with forward two to catch the other side, right? That was forward two, was it? Or forward two caught step, really. He got that 4 4 for a solid uh, homing move, too. I know that. Yeah, nah, I can't do the fucking tower. I, I, I showed off earlier in case you missed it. If you want to practice just frame skyrocket, turn on the command capture, and you'll see, like right there, I did the forward neutral down forward 4. But because there was an extra down forward input, it means I pressed the forward too late and I got down forward for because of it. So you get a nice visual here to see what you're doing wrong. If you got a regular skyrocket, it means it registered a down input. You don't want to register down input. You want a perfect forward neutral down forward four. Just one more. There you go. Just like that. Perfect forward neutral down forward plus four. Uh, Zayu will be on my list soon. If you want to check it out, follow. It'll be up. Uh, this and everything else will be up on YouTube. This is gonna, probably going to be like a, at least a two part, if not a three part. Though. Speaking of what time do I have here? 406. Okay, so I've been at it for about an hour. So it's going to be a while to go through this character, I think, because he has a long movement. Alright. Uh. Did four and four, right? Yeah, so this is a really good move. Little cheap shit. Alright, four plus one plus two. Ah, this is a counter hit move, right? Yeah. Counter hit jungle starter. Negative uh, nine on block. 15 frame starter. So he has a 15 frame counter hit tool. Good for him. Only during his neutral stance, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Only during neutral stats. There's a lot of characters that have that DXA uh, demon. Uh, there's Sweep Lows. Huarang has that. Huarang, uh, what is it? How do I do it? No. That. That's a juggle starter right there. I don't know the combo, but... Yeah, I've been going through all the characters' moves. Uh, the earlier ones, you scroll down to my YouTube, I upload all the streams there. I did uh, all the new characters except for Akuma and my Katarina, because I did Katarina before the game was out. I got the PS4 version early, so I got to redo her. Uh, I also did Elisa, and uh, I did do Master Raven, even though she's not really a new character, but I did her. And as you, if, in case you couldn't tell by now, I tend to go a little more in depth than most people, so they're long. I'm not gonna say it, sit there and say, "Oh, watch all in one sitting." No, it's just a little tool you have on the side. You look back, and then you could, you know, it's for, it's for me too. I'm doing this. I don't fucking know all these characters. You don't know if it's still juggles in this. If it's still a juggle starter, oh, okay. Well, anyway, there's other lows. Uh, what's up, Beta? How you doing, brother? Uh, there's other lows. Uh, there's the slow ones. Katarina's down back four. Snake Edge for Brian. 
uh, Lily's uh, Edelweiss, is that what it's called? Lily's Sweep. Devil Jin's Hell Sweep is a fast one, 17 frames. That's a juggle starter. Uh, Ling Shayu, when she's back turn, her Rage Drive is a juggle starter. Otherwise, in a neutral, she has a sidestep low sweep, a slow one, that's a juggle starter. Dragon off down back three. That's a low juggle starter. What I'm trying to tell you here is there's a lot of lows that starts juggles. <laughs> it's not that's not exclusive to Akuma and Eliza. Not to mention for them to get the really big damage off that low, they need meter. So they don't just get it all the time. They also need to be right in your face. If they hit from like even a slight distance, it doesn't combo. And that's why I was saying before, if you keep them out, they have a lot more trouble mixing you up. They mix you up when they get right in your face. When Akuma's not in your face, his lows are trash. He has down four to knock you down, and that shit's like negative 30 on block. Get fucked up. Follow that ass. <laughs> Alright, uh... Beta, I finished Elisa. If you're checking out on the YouTube. That's your home, girl, right? I did go for Elisa. Elisa has some good shit, man. Really good shit. Alright, so, uh, we're talking about four to one plus two. So uh, as I said earlier, as I said earlier uh, that's the juggle starter on the counter hit. All right, on, it's only plus on hit. It does push back, right? Yeah, it pushes back. It's plus two according to the bot. I'll believe the bot for this one because they don't show the frame data on um, on whatever this shit is called on RB Norway. It's just the tracking on this thing. A little bit to his left. Just a little bit. Only at plus one. At zero and at plus one. So if he's at any sort of plus frames, uh, you can bet that that'll track step at least to his left. Not walk so much. Alright, so this is his go-to, like, a common thing a lot of characters have, they'll have some sort of juggle starting 50 frame counter hit move. That's safe on block. This will just be Huarangs. It's a mid always. Usually it's a knee. Is the emo approved yet? Nah, man. Let me refresh that page. I don't know what's taking him so long. It's been over a week. Like I have, they don't even send me an email. I mean, it's I'm just some random jobber with like one sub, <laughs> so they're like whatever. Oh no, wait! Oh shit! Refresh the page. <laughs> Hold up. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on a second. Oh shit! Oh, that white outline kind of fucks it up, doesn't it? <laughs> Get high. I might need to re-upload that. That white outline kind of fucks it up. Because I got use a dark background. Emo to prove, baby. Alright. This is the Tekken theme that nobody knows about from the 3DS game. Tekken uh, Prime, whatever. Alright, well, thank you. So I got I got an emo, guys. If anybody wants to <laughs> sub. <laughs> Alright, so back to the action here. The distractions, distractions. Uh, yeah, it's a down forward one. This looks like, ooh, this is an above average down forward one. It's zero on block. A lot of down forward ones are negative one or negative two on block. Sometimes even negative three. But I'm guessing because he doesn't have any built in follow ups, they made his zero on block. Really good. And it's 13 frames. Let's see if it tracks. Uh, yeah. Solid mid poke. A solid 13 frame down forward one. Really good. You always uh, want to have one of these if you can. Ha. Ah. Caught. Yeah, that's a weird one. Ah, tracks well to his left. Step at least. Maybe not walk. Yep, thought so. Woo! 
slanging the emotes. I only got one emo slot. And I have a slot for 9.99 sub and 25 sub, but no way, I'm not even gonna bother with that shit. Are you kidding me? Who's gonna fuck <laughs> Who's gonna sub to me for $25 or $10? Nobody. Alright, uh. Let's see. So yeah, his dot forward one is really good. It's a really good dot forward one to have. Zero on block, man. You know what that means. One more time here. They go right. You get the two in a row and it'll cover your left side. It's good shit. It's good shit. Let's see how his jab deals with two in a row. Nah, it's not one of those. Maybe if I were Gigas. It does like visually look like one of those ducking down forward ones. Because you, you know there's like a little window in there where he'll duck a jab. But not in this case. And he up over one, two. This song sounds familiar. <laughs> Thank you. I always put stupid donation goals. Um, Alright, so down four one's really good, really good. Down four two, he has the generic down four two, so well, relatively generic. His launches on normal hit standing, but I'll bet you crouching it doesn't. Yeah, see, he needs a counter hit. So technically that doubles up as a counter hit tool. I don't think it tracks particularly great though. Oh, off of a one too. Funny how that works, right? Sometimes being pushed further away makes the thing track better. At zero it tracks. At plus one it doesn't. Weird, right? Wonder why that is. walk it just if you're gonna step this move you want to go to your left because weird shit like that like you don't want to get clipped randomly and also you can backdash this really easily that's a common theme with these generic down forward twos like this and the down forward ones also now that I think about it like I think Dragon Ball has above average range for down forward one about 13 frame mids but <clears throat> excuse me Still, they both lose pretty bad to back dash. Uh, and you, and if you're ready for it, that's why when you think like when you think of move like oh, 15 frame normal hit safe home block mid launcher, that's your ducking, right? <coughs> Let me just spam it. Then the answer for the opponent should be, you know. Then you get launched. Or in the case of Huang, since uh, the cool thing about his back three, which I'll talk more about this when I get to it, is the input. Having a launcher as just back plus a button, a fast one, is great because you're always moving back to block, you're back dashing. All you do is press three while you're holding back, while you're blocking, and you get a launch, a whiff punish launch. That's always like one of the things I think about. That's what makes this move so fucking good, in my opinion. It's fast and it's just back plus a button. Really good input. Bison, what's going on? Why, let me read all this. Uh, how long have I been busy? Uh, I've been at it for about an hour and a half. Uh, buddy, Double Gin next. I don't know when you are. Oh, Double Gin's later. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty straight. He is relatively straightforward. Uh, Alright, guys, let's talk about Double Gin. Alright. Uh, back three on block is now negative 19, Bison. Very bad on block. They made it worse on block. Yeah. You, this move, they like. It seems like they noticed. This move used to be like only like negative 15, I think. They made a negative 19. Look at the bot. See? I'll talk more about this move when I actually get to it. This is they want. They want this move to be just a whiff punish. 
But I guess they just uh, it, on Shadow Block, people had trouble punishing it. They're like, no, we want everyone to punish this regardless of Shadow Block. So it starts becoming a move that you just throw out randomly. They don't want it. You, they clearly, this 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 nerf clearly tells me that they don't want it to be anything but a whiff punish. And it's a great whiff punch. It's still a fucking fantastic move. It's just there's less uh, of a, uh, it's riskier to just randomly throw it out, you know? Like, and a lot of people who've been, play, who've been playing this character for the past few games have a nasty habit of just tossing their shit out from space because it goes unpunished. Don't let it go unpunished. Punish that shit. Find your fucking... If you're dragging off 4 plus 1 plus 2 or reach them every time. You know, if you're jacked, down 4 2 or reach them. If your gig is... What is it? Down 2? Down 4 2. Whatever, whatever he punches the floor with. Whatever that move is. That'll reach him. Let's see. What other character can I think of? Uh, Lily. What, what does Lily have for a lot of range? Her hockey seems to have above average range. Uh, her down 4 2 seems to have above average range too. That, they, they'll probably both reach. You know, pick a character. Devilton. You can't do electric. Try can cans. That'll probably reach. Uh, Ihachi would probably and Kazuya would probably have to use electrics. Uh, I don't know. I go through the whole cast, but in case so hold on, return it with a back plus game hero. Oh, they used to be 17 frames. I ain't know about that. It's 16 frames. So yeah, it's that too. Actually, no, it used to be 17 frames. Sorry, I got some. I ate like a poppy seed bagel, so I got seeds stuck in my teeth. Anyway, uh. Oh shit, Persona 5. This song's tight. So we were talking about 4 plus, no, we were talking about down forward 2 and down forward 1. Alright, so we know what's up with that. Next is down forward 3. Ooh, a lot of range on this one. My first ever Marauder rank in the history of my Tekken play. Thanks to the Elisa guide. Here's a token of my appreciation. The text pop Much up? Love. Ah, I think I didn't see who that was. Did the, t the donation message didn't pop up on, on my screen, did it? I have it on. Did something break? Uh, I gotta, I, let me read it back. I'm assuming that was beta, my number one supporter. <laughs> Yes, Beta. Got my first ever Marauder rank in the history of my second plane. Thanks to the Lisa guide. He's like my appreciation. Much love. I'm glad I can help, Beta. That's how I do, amigo. And congrats on Marauder. Keep at it. The only way is up. Lisa, for you guys that didn't catch it. Really, really, she got some nasty shit. Nastier than I thought. That chainsaw stance, you can't challenge it. When you, uh, when she, uh, the only way you can challenge it is if she does the down forward two, the uppercut on block. Otherwise, if she's like at plus or even frames, and she has a 14 frame high high uh, mini combo starter that if she breaks the floor, she gets a full combo. 14 frame safe on block high high. That's a natural combo. And then she has a high mid 14 frames option that gives her a mini combo also, but it's negative 13 on block. She has some good shit. Alright. Yeah, and uh, like, you don't have to go crazy about carrying back that shit with any character. Like, hold on, right? Look at the range on this back three. I talk about back three being his primary whip punch. Look at that. You just gotta create some space, right? Like, for example, what I showed you earlier here, right? Just give you a short example. When you're testing anti character stuff, right? And you see, like, a common poke that you, you don't know how to deal with, right? And you see that maybe it's a down forward one that doesn't have much range. I, showed, I, just, I just showed you this earlier, but I'll show it to you again. You don't need Korean backdash to punish that. You just need one backdash. And then when you see the whiff confirmed, that wasn't a punish, but... If you're ready for it, especially since you're hot on, you're already holding back because you're backdashing, you just hit three. See? Same thing. You don't need Korean backdash for that. Same thing. This is an even bigger whiff, so you don't even need to. It's easier to whiff confirm. And then if you want to, if you want to get, if you're too slow to get the back three, the 16 frame, you know you could always get a jab. Fourth, that's 11 frames. That's 11 frames. Back dashing is like one of the safest things you could do. Back dash cancel just makes it see so create a little extra space sometimes when you need it. Uh, you don't want to fall into that trap where probably the reason why my wrist is so fucked up now. 
just doing this randomly. Like, even, you see even good players do it. You'll see even speed kicks all day long. He's just like, and then he's clearly, he's taking the cerebral approach because like, I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of creating space. Or maybe I got a life for you I want you to come to me. That's what that's telling the opponent, right? And then you're, you're, you're making it obvious, you know, that either you have no game plan or you're just trying to create space and you're just trying to get away. But when you watch, uh, like, Korean players play, they're not doing that all fucking day like it's tag one. They're not doing this 24-7. They're trying to maintain a certain space. They're trying to, they'll do it like to get back here, maybe like, oh, I like this space, and then they'll start sidestepping and trying to maintain that much space. And then if they're closer, they'll back up and maintain that space. If they're further, they'll dash up and they'll try to maintain that space. That's how you gotta think about it. Whatever your strengths are, whatever moves you want to use, whatever move you're thinking about, think about the best spacing to use that move based on the matchup, and go based on that. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's just something you got to work on. You'll get there. I don't know what it is most of the time. I'm trying to think about it more and more the, the more I play. Because the way I always play, it's good against a lot of people that are like lower level and lower mid level. But good players don't just, they're not going to fall for down forward one, jab down forward one, jab high crushing low. Oh, they're not going to fall for that all day. You have to guess right so many more times than if you were, you were to take bigger risks and trying to actually bait whiffs and launch and shit. That's how you get the big damage in second. Basics weird, friend. It's a weird thing. Luckily, your, your character has good range. Alisa has a lot of good range. And Huarang has good range, too. <laughs> so back to Huarang. So, yeah, this, this move. This is like a long-range whiff punisher, but I know this is unsafe. It's more unsafe than I thought, actually. Negative 14, apparently. Ha! So that's a natural combo on normal hit. Uh, it doesn't do anything if you get counter hit on a lot of person. Ah, that first hit is a counter hit juggle starter. Ooh, I see. Alright. You see the spacing? How it's fucking with me? Fourteen frame punish. Thirteen. It's kind. Of, I can't even test the fifteen frame because it doesn't reach. But fourteen frame reaches, and it says negative fourteen. So. That's a counter hit juggle starter by itself. But that one is actually a uh, negative 12 to negative 11. Interesting. Our normal hit, it's plus one if you stop it there. So if you're just trying to fish for this, it's, uh, 20, it's a slow starter move. But like, if you're trying to, like, if you, if you think somebody's going to come in with a string, it's not a bad, you know, that's kind of where you would use this. Also, you could fake it and go with the flamingo instead. See? You tap forward after down forward three, you go to Flamingo. So it's one of those things where if people are just looking for the animation, you have this this tool to really mess with them. That's about what it's that's about all it's there for. And the second hit is a deterrent from mashing after punishing the first hit, I guess, right? Yeah, you can't match between them. Luckily, the counter hit property is not on the second hit. That would make that shit really fucked up. What was it, 12 frames? Does he have a 12 frame? Uh, well, 13 frame is not punishing, and 11 frame did, so. That's all I gotta see. <laughs> ah, fatal frame rate. What's up? We'll go behind the enemy too when it lands sometimes. What are you, what are you, talking, what are you talking about? 
I hear that Huarang has problems approaching, but the dude yesterday was spamming, I think, 444. Yeah, that's a uh, main record. The thing about 444 is it's really hard to whiff punish. I learned that the hard way when I. I don't know if this move got buffed or if this is even a new move. So here's the thing. You make this whiff by your movement, right? It's simply going to be in the mid-range. See? See that? You have to, like, really be sharp to get a full whiff punish on that shit. It's not the hardest thing in the, in the world to do, but it depends on like your sp his spacing too. So usually they're gonna try to space it so just the tip would hit you. It's actually kind of hard to sidestep too, like a neutral, as you can see. Oof. Oof. But you can do it. Also, because it's a forward forward move, you could like realign. So don't forget about that. Like that. Oof, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> but yeah, you could like, you, you always see when I play when you do the neutral, they like sidestep or they'll sidestep and then do it. They don't just throw it out from standing, you know? They move around a lot and then they throw it out to fuck with the timing and to fuck with your sidestepping. So you, you add that on top of the fact that it recovers quicker than it looks. It doesn't recover super fast, but it recovers quicker than it looks. And it becomes uh, a bit annoying to deal with. And it is safe on block. And if you back that away out of the spacing, most of the time you really might not get anything. Because his leg is sticking out so much that you're, you're, you're right, you don't have that kind of range really to whip on it. Are you starting with, you're coming from KOF, are you starting with Horang? Uh, are you, do you watch Juice Box? Is that, what, is that where I recognize your name from? Let me hit the chat. Tekken on the Game Boy Vance. <laughs> uh, oh, he does. I don't know what the input is. He has that. I don't know what the input is, but I know I know what you're talking about. It's while running for. You're talking about that, right? I'll get there. I know he doesn't he probably doesn't get anything guaranteed. He probably gets a mix up on him. Woo, frame rate going to shit. Alright, well, let me go back to what I was doing. So, the down forward dudes I was just talking about, so, as we saw before, can't rock it, can't sidestep this way, didn't check. You can start a sidestep. But you can't. Oop. Nope. No sidestep. Probably a uh, rage drive in between, but he has to be in the stance to rage doesn't he? So you can't use the rage drive. <laughs> oh, rage, uh, rage art. Uh, let's test the tracking. It's kind of slow, so 
too weird. Yeah, it looks like it should work on that side, right? Sidewalk, right? All right, it tracks step. It tracks step in that direction fairly well. But now walk. So next we got down forward four. That's the homie move. At least him in right foot forward every time. Safe on block though. He could block during right foot forward, right? I haven't tested that. I'm assuming he can. Well, he also creates the space when you hold back. Uh, good. At least at least it doesn't at least it doesn't move back fast enough to make the jab whiff. He has to stay still and block. But he is safe. But still, gonna have that kind of homie move in his pocket. Doing a counter hit. Knocks down on counter hit. Wall splats, obviously. Regular hit. Hunched over. Plus eight. Plus eight. Okay. So it does push back a bit, but at plus eight, you gotta respect the follow ups. That's about it for that one. Uh, decent range too, looks like. Uh, okay, it's range. I'm about a back dash and a half, right? Next, we got down four plus one plus two. Ooh, this is a weird one. Weird mid poke. 13 frame start up. Uh, uh, more range than down four to one, I guess, right? Because you could back dash down four to one. But you could. That looks like you won't be able to back dash that. Right, see? So, more range, but it's negative three on block. As soon as I go for one, two jab, he's too far back, though. Isn't there more to this move? No, it's just a mid, it's just another mid poke, apparently. Nothing really going on with this move otherwise. Negative three on block, plus eight on hit. damage. Well, that's down 4 plus 1 plus 2 for some reason. That's you got down 4 plus 3 plus 4. Ooh, this is the hit throw, right? On the juggles. So, you can end juggles with that. Uh, does it fuck with the scaling? Oh, good. Every hit scales the same, even though it's 3 hits. So, it's a solid jungle ender, I guess. Uh, no reason to use it mid, uh, outside of jungles, I don't see there's any reason to use it. This is a 15 frame mid that doesn't do shit. Zero on hit, zero on counter hit. And it's unsafe on block, so I wouldn't even, don't even fucking use this. Negative 11 on block, outside of jungles. What am I doing? Push block. Ah, it is unsafe, but... Wow. Can't really punish it. <laughs> Still, like, what's the reward, you know? There's nothing going on with this move. It tracks well to that side. Alright. Take it easy, beta. Have a good one. Uh, down three. So negative two low, but he has down three, four. Ah, okay. So this one, uh, I feel like you nerfed the damage on this. This is so to give him a low option that puts him into a flamingo stance. Right flamingo in this case. Down three, four. 
Uh, and it's on hit. It's, uh, what is it on hit? Negative three. That's not right. What does it say here? Plus eight to plus ten. That sounds right. <laughs> it's plus eight to plus ten on block. Meaning the high kick. But this is this is something you have to launch punish. Nobody's going to do this by itself unless it's ending around me. And uh, this is one that you're going to want to launch punch or low parry. This is why I think when you're fighting Huarang in a neutral situation, you're going to want to low parry instead of low block him, in my opinion. When he's in stances, things good, things will be different. But when he's just in his regular ass left foot forward shit, uh, go with low parry when he duck. So you can get a proper punish on that. Then what ends up happening is, yeah, you can't even, that jails. That shit jails the first two kicks, obviously. So I can't even, thankfully, if you block it, you can't even mass jab on that. It won't let you. <laughs> and then you have to time your wall standing punish, though, to, like, not get countered. That's another thing. See? Are you trying to get like a good launch? Unless you're like Asuka, her wall standing three keeps her ducking. You don't you, you don't want to get launched because you block even though he goes low high. So you wanna just not deal with that. Just fucking low parry. Just low parry. Just low parry. That's right, Sasuke. I gotta take my own advice on that one because I tend to just regularly low block instead of low parry. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, this is really good. On hit, it's plus 14 to plus 16, but you can still guard, obviously. On counter hit, it's like plus 19 to plus 21, it says. Let me guess, that means... Oops, sorry. Alright, that's in your reach. Whatever. More frames on counter hit. He might get something guaranteed. I don't know what his... Um... Yeah, that doesn't reach either. Well, whatever. Uh, one of the best basic pokes. Well, Hanong has a standard uh, down forward one. So it's like I said earlier, 13 frame mid poke. A lot of down forward ones in the game, like uh, for at least maybe half the cast, are some variation of a 13 frame mid poke. Um, and most of them are negative, like negative one or two on block. For Hanong, he's zero on block for his. As you see the bot up top, See, it says plus zero on the left. That's zero on block. So that's a good one. He, I haven't really gotten to his low pokes yet, but I already know. Down back four. The one I just talked about, down three, four. To go into right flamingo with plus. Uh, down back three is a good one. I already know about that. So he has good low pokes. Down four by itself is not what I would recommend. I know a lot of new players like to use this, but it's low, high, easy to duck under and launch him for. Uh, so yeah, off the top of my head, I can say that so far. Until I find more stuff with on. I would say down back four, uh, down back four forward to go into Flamingo. Or just down back four by itself to go to go and stay neutral. Uh, down, uh, down back three for your high crush low poke. And down three four to go into right Flamingo also. Yeah, down back four forward is what you want to do. Not down back four by itself, sorry. Down back four forward is uh, negative one on block. <laughs> it's a fucked up look. Uh, yet another reason why I say low parry, hold on. Negative one on block, are you fucking kidding me? If you press a jab after you block that, you're going to get Connor hit the juggle started. That. Just to show this. I showed this before. I'll show it to you again. This is why this low is fucked up. This is why I also recommend low parry, hold on. So you're like, oh, let me punish that shit. Oh, you got launched, because he could do the second hit, and the counter hit launches him. There you go, that's the launch. So 
But I was too slow there, obviously. Mash. See? There it is. I'm trying to do an 11 frame move. The only move that's faster than 11 frames from crouching is 10 frames. Uh, in this case, you could crouch jab. It wouldn't be a punish, but you could crouch jab. It wouldn't be like a legitimate punish. You could crush it. Like, what, what can you do out of that? There you go. So if you think you're gonna crouch jab after you block that. Sorry. Uh, is it up forward three? It whips because it's a high though. <laughs> Does he have like a launch from? Does, can he do? Can he do a hunting hawk? Wow, his low crush options from right flaming are actually kind of shitty. I didn't know that. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, down three four. Down back three. Uh, down back three. This. Down three four. And uh, down back four forward. You want to go to Flamingo. Uh, Alright. And down four one plus two is an okay mid poke too, I think. Because I, it has more range than down forward one. As I showed earlier, but it is negative three on block. It does push back a bit. Looks like whatever. Let's take a sip. Switch ears here. All right. So next on the list. So we were talking about down three four. Okay. So we checked that already. Next is down four. Oh yeah, I was just talking about this. So this is a counter hit uh, combo starter from low. Uh, this is not a great move. <laughs> I guess anyone that knows how to fight this character, this is not a great move. Um, even like a little bit. You don't even, you don't need to see this like a couple of times to realize how bad it is. Because you think, oh, it's safe on block, right? You're thinking like, oh, you can't punish that, but you don't, you don't have to like do that shit, right? <laughs> I didn't quite work out. You get the idea. Uh, I didn't test the tracking on down three. Let me do that right now. Down three, four. Seems like that might track pretty well. To his right for stepping. Not walk though. Oof, you get his rear. Alright. Good shit. I didn't know that. You really could fuck him up for sidewalking this. Go right. Oof, looks good for step to his left also. Oh, spoke too soon. So only out from a jab, which is fine, honestly. If this is universal, it's obviously it's working on Huanam. If this is universal, then that's solid. You gotta remember that. If you do this instantly off of a jab, because the jab is a way that you kind of universally start offense for the most part because you have plus one on block, right? So if you get them afraid of like duck after a jab, whatever, by doing like jab, it's down forward one constantly or whatever, right? Shit like that. And you work in this, you'll know that you they really won't be able to sidestep it all that well off of plus one. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's good to know. That might not be universal. Though. Some characters have better sidesteps than others. But a negative... That's not happening at zero, it's not happening. Um, 
Yeah, no, I had Juice Box's learning tech, and uh, I know that. I was watching for KOF 14. Uh, down four. Okay, we talked about this already. I don't think it's. Let's test the tracking on this. Okay, so I think this might track well. I can be step. It, it does have good range. My problem with this move is there's no reward for just doing the low. The low is negative. And then you. So the only reward is actually following it up. So it's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? You know, this shit's trash. So it seems like more consistently to his left on the first hit, at least. So you want to go to your, your left. Down back three. So this is what I was talking about. This is even on hit. Uh, negative 13 on blocks, so certain characters will launch you for it, like Kazuya, Josie, not Eddie. Eddie has a 13 frame wall standing launcher, but it is high. You see how he's ducking? That means he recovers and crouch. So Eddie will not be able to launch this on block. On block. Uh, anybody else has a 13 frame wall standing? Uh, Eliza and Nicole with meter will be able to launch this. Yeah, that might be it. Um, so yeah, this is actually a really good move. I think it tracks well too. Ooh, it tracks well to his right, not so much to his left. Uh, oh, for this negative three move, it does though. Uh, so when the negative frames get heavy, that's when it tracks better, it seems like. For step, at least. Yeah, okay. So only really step. You can walk around it pretty easily. Nothing on counter here. Plus seven, sorry, not nothing. What's the animation? Okay, different animation on counter hit. If you're good at, if you're sharp, you can tell you got plus frames, plus seven. When he leans, when he leans over like that, but when it's just like a little hit, a little lean, that's a zero. The popular follow-up is while standing four four, which is safe on block, negative five as you see, as you can see on, on my on the bot. The reason that's a popular follow-up is because I don't think anyone could sidestep it, even though it's zero. And, uh, you could jab him, right? Yeah, you'll jab him, right? Anything slower than a jab, uh, that 11 frames exchanges. So, you, you'll you go 10 frames. And then if you try to sidestep, see? That shit just fucking sucks you in. So, yeah, I start to sidestep, but it catches you. So, that's why that's a popular follow-up. What's up, Levas? <laughs> Vince. Vince, Eddie's down forward too. I was trying to tell you in the in the in the chat when you were fighting Juice. And it's, I don't know if you saw it, but it seemed like you were using it. Eddie's down forward too. He does like a little leaning elbow. Very fucking good move. It's one of the key moves for Eddie. It is negative ten on block, but it pushes back. And on regular hit, they hold their neck and they fall. Kinda like a nosebleed stun, I think. I don't know if it does a regular nosebleed stun, but they fall back, which gives you really good Oki. And on counter hit, it launches, and if you space it, any character not named Gigas will not punish that shit. So, uh, maybe Bob, too. Maybe Bob can punish it. Nobody's gonna, like, Jin isn't gonna reach you. No matter what, we take a hold forward, they're not gonna reach you. And it's so fucked up that if you space it right, you do two of them back to back, and they try to one two you, you're gonna get a counter hit. <coughs> Cabo player spam that shit like crazy. Uh. for here. Alright, so we talked about the down back three. So that's a good move. Negative 13 on block it says. What do I have here? Oh, he has a 10 frame while standing move. Right here. While standing one. Good for him. Spacing will fuck with the stuff. 
I don't have any negative tech force crotch moves to really test this. And he doesn't have a 13 frame while standing with the test either. So that's 14 and 15. Counter hit launcher, huh? So next is down back four. Good. We were just talking about this earlier. Talk about it again. So there's the two extensions. That's the that's extension, the down back four four, which is a little high. And there's the way you go into Flamingo by holding forward. Down back four by itself is fucking whatever. It's negative eight. You know, you don't that's not how you use this move. Uh on counter hit, that combos, right? And uh, you see that kind of knockdown. So if the wall was well. Let's just switch stage. Change the scenery here. If the wall is to our right there, it's gonna give him a, a follow-up. Got a nice square stage here. Negative nine safe on block, correct. Yep. No no wait, it's negative ten. No no no, sorry, it's it is negative ten. Trust me. I don't think they changed it. Let me look up the bot in the uh, secret Discord channel here real quick. Eddie, the four plus two. Oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> they made a negative nine, so they actually made it safe. I didn't know that. It definitely was negative ten before. All right, so we want the wall. I want to make him face me. How do I knock him down? That works. So, uh, see, ah, uh, ain't really, ain't really float him though. I don't know what you would pick up with down three, four, maybe. Maybe he can't. Maybe he doesn't get a pickup. I'll stand for him. Maybe. Yeah, I guess he doesn't get a pickup. That's weird. Or if he does, I don't know what it would be. Usually, characters will get some sort of good pickup there. Back four? Um, Sasuke, if you're still there, what's a good float for Huarang? I thought it would be down back four. Does he have a better float than that? Well, whatever. I'll see if he answers me later. Alright, so down back four forward. I already talked about it. Plus, uh, sorry, negative one on block. Plus, like, a lot on hit. According to this, down back four forward is... Plus three. It's not plus a lot, sorry. Well, countering is plus a lot. Unfortunately, it's the same animation. Either way it goes, whether it's blocked or not, like, this follow-up is eight frames. So people can't jab you through it. On hit, on block... Whatever. They can't attack you through it. They have to duck. Uh, down back 4-4 four, four is safe on block, but it needs a counter hit to combo. What does it say here? Oh, it's actually negative 3. It says negative 2 here, but the bot says negative 3. Interesting. And it does cause some space, so... Either way it goes, this is another reason you want to low parry him, honestly. So you don't have to deal with this fucking down back four bullshit. 
Let's test the tracking. Seems really good for his left. Uh, his right, rather. Yep, even walk. Ah, this track's really good. Holy shit. There you go. I gotta be real with you guys. If you're gonna sidestep, sidestep to your right. I don't care what else tracks in that direction, sidestep and stand guard to your right. You get away from the two lows, the two, in what, what are in my opinion, the two most dangerous lows. Down three, four, and down back four. You get away from his transition lows. Doesn't get, uh, and it gets you away from down back three. Gets away from all of his good lows. You have to come into a sidewalk, though. That's the problem. So you're gonna have to like risk eating because you have to come into a sidewalk instead of a step. You're gonna risk eating all sorts of shit, right? But at least he'll get you away from the lows so you can stand guard. And if he tries to delay any mids, you get fucked. Yeah, Huarong is uh, relatively neutral, so. Relatively linear, sorry, neutral. But step, it doesn't work too good against him. Eddie has a size step, but it sucks. But Eddie has back, Eddie doesn't need a size step. He has back two. <laughs> he has back two. He has moves that go under moves. He has moves that go over moves. Not just crushes either. So Eddie's fine. Eddie got no issues. Um, all right, so that's the down back four series. Next we got down back three plus four. This is an unblockable, isn't it? Yeah, it's that shit. That shit hits grounded. That's the one thing you should know about that. Assuming it still does, at least. Is he blocking? Yeah, that hits grounded. That's really the only thing that's worth knowing about that. It might break floors too. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and you can cancel if you double tap back. And cancel it into right flamingo. Oh, sorry, left flamingo. You have to cancel it instantly, huh? like double tap back right away. Yeah, if, you, if you're too late, you won't cancel it. So you have to cancel it right away. <sighs> Next is back one. This is a counter hit crumble stun, isn't it? Oh, Crispy Lays, this is your favorite move, isn't it? Get a deep dash. I know he has something out of this. And combo. He said his wake up. Also, you'll know that even on counter hit, if he hits you off axis, he doesn't get a crumble stun. Okay, okay. I know he got something for this shit. It might just be this. Why not? <laughs> this might just be a really hard pickup, or he doesn't really get anything for free. Well, you trust in your uh, training mode. 
Test it yourself. He's got. I know he's got to get something. If no, if nothing else, I know he'll for sure get something up the wall. Right. I mean, obviously. Right. You know, whatever, whatever the fuck it is, he'll get free shit at the wall. What is his uh, rage drive? That probably floor breaks too. For a shitload of damage. I heard Rip had some disputes with the bot numbers. Yeah no the the bot the bot numbers are, are wrong, I can already tell you that. Like Especially for one on, look, negative seventeen. That's not negative seventeen. That's plus three. Uh, here, you see that? It says negative four. That's like plus twelve. That's not negative four. The bot, like this shit. Uh, there's also just <coughs> excuse me. There's also, there's also just some moves that are outright wrong. It seems like on the website they're taking a list, like if people could submit saying, "Oh, this move's wrong. This move's wrong," and then the guy's fixing it, I guess. It's a work in progress. It's uh, good so far, though. Alright. So anyway, back plus one, auto sidesteps to your right, as you can see. So if you uh, sidestep right and then do it, you get a nice little double sidestep, and you'll hit their side. So I guess that my question becomes, is there anything free? Negative 13 now, according to this. Yeah, so 14 frames not a punish. So that is negative 13 on block. It's also fast. See, it'd be on my holding move. Is that 15 frames, I think? Uh, yeah, 15 frames. Uh, it is negative one on hit, apparently. Uh, the boss says zero. Either way, it pushes back, so it's like, I wouldn't test that. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't challenge that, because then you just risk a back dash, and so a back three with punish easily. So if you want to use it that way as a setup so if you hit regularly, just do a back dash afterwards. If they swing at all, get that back three ready, right? You know, back um, boom, look at that. If they swing, just make sure you, uh, you react. Next we got back four. This easy right foot forward. It's plus one to plus two. Eh, it's kinda whatever this move. Uh, oh, actually, next on list is back three. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that was back one. 
Hold up, rewind. Back two is next on the list, sorry. Um, this is safe on block, spins. So it wall splats, auto sidesteps to your left. Back one goes to your right, back two goes to your left. Back to is 13 frames to start up. Luckily, you have a good tracker if you're one on <laughs> standing four. Of course, in the move that he in the direction that he moves, it tracks decently. Uh, the thing about moves like this is uh, you're always one backdash away from blowing them up. I'm not even backdashing; I'm just holding back. Same goes for back one. See? Once again, I'm just holding back. So that's really that's the best way to deal with this move. Fuck block block punishing. These are the kind of moves that are designed for you to hit you for coming in. They're not designed if you just hold back. You know? Even though I stand still, does it like reach? Okay, it does. Not there though. Okay, it doesn't reach. Yeah, not there. <sighs> yeah, I got to back four. Uh, this wall spots. Yeah, the wall spots because it goes up to spin, so you can tell. And this is only uh, negative nine on block. Negative eight. So, so no punish. Okay, so then we then we got back three. So we talked about this before. It's his primary whiff punisher. And back plus three back plus three is a great input. Because it's his back on a button to whiff punish with, so. Solid to catch step to his uh, right. Seems solid for stepping out of the direction. But walk, no good. Have to be really negative to make it work. Uh, by the way, back dash realigns too. Forward dash, back dash, whatever. Sidestep. I guess this is a back input. I don't really think about it. There's not too many like moves that you realign with that start with back, right? But in this case, since he has a lot of range, it works well. Better mind. Yeah, I know. Back turn four is a popular one. I'll get there. What's up, Ghost of Davidian? Davidian? Davidian. Davidian! Yeah, Weight Watchers, man. I'm a fatty. I lost a lot of weight. I used to be uh, 395 pounds, like two years ago. And I lost a lot of weight just walking. Uh, one of the big things I did is I switched to sugarless beverages like this. And then school came around, and I got bad at it. So I dropped as low as 263, and um, now I'm back up to 288. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, I gotta. Obviously, the donation Weight Watchers after donation goes is me fucking around, but I gotta like get to walking. That's why I'm trying to do a little jog before the WWE pay per view later tonight. Uh, is that where the base came from? Uh, the base came from the fact that I've always been big. I was over, I was almost 400 pounds, like, way after that I got that nickname. 
that was like from high school. I was, I was like, uh, I've always been like six feet tall and like 200 and something. Uh, blah, 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 let's see. So uh, the Manny Biggs name is actually, I used to do uh, backyard wrestling. Um, when I say backyard, I'm in New York City. So it was actually more like a playground, like a public playground on the rubber mats, right? And uh, the people I used to do that shit with, uh, they do legitimate independence now. And one of the guys I used to do that with is now one half of the formerly known as TNA Impact Wrestling, now known as Global Force Wrestling, tag team champions in the Latin American Exchange, LAX. He's one half. I won't say his name because he actually requested that in my YouTube I used to have a match with him. <laughs> and he requested that I take it down when he went legit. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to like, you know, I don't care. My regret was I deleted it. I didn't just take it down and delete it. I should have saved the match. Because I wanted to say the match, because in that match, it was a triple threat match. I took a double hip toss from him and another guy. And then let's say the tip of my fingers here are my head. I bent my head forward, but I landed right on the back of my neck. Because I didn't go all the way over for a double hip toss. So I went up and went up in the air, wee, and then bam, right in the fucking back of my neck with my legs folded over and everything. And I, that might be the only time I've ever had a concussion in my life. I still finished the match though. <laughs> Amigos. So the people that I used to do the backyard shit with, uh, they're known as 2KW. So now I think if you go YouTube 2KW Pro, you'll see them. There's only a couple of the guys from back then that are there that are, that are actually still wrestling. Um, but yeah. And then they still do like uh, independence around the East Coast area, obviously. Or Northeast area. Homicide! Yeah, he's he's back in LAX too. Homicide is back in LAX with that, that dude I was talking about. They're actually doing quite well now, and I haven't been watching TNA forever, but they're doing well from my understanding. Uh, anyway, back to four. Okay, so somebody mentioned earlier, this is a counter hit jungle starter. Oh yeah, one more thing, back three, I said it before, I'll say it again, negative 19 on block now. Launch it, launch it, launch it, no matter how far away you block it, you're gonna launch this shit. You're gonna get something, you may not get a launcher at the, at the most maximum distance possible, you might, depending on your character, you might not get a launcher, but you probably will. So please, this is an important move to punish against Hold On. If you you are the Hold On player, you punish it using the same fucking move, back return for with a back three. Otherwise, use this as your primary launching with Punisher. I wouldn't recommend using this as a with Punisher unless you are insanely sharp and they whiff something huge. I wouldn't recommend Skyrocket because Skyrocket gets more damage. That's why you'd want to do it. But this is like this will punish fast. Like, moves that recover fairly quick on whiff, this is better for that. Other than having to do a stop and do a skyrocket input, whether it's just frame or not. Which I can't even do it. Just give me one. Give me one. There it is. <laughs> just give me one. Thank you. Just for skyrocket. Uh, so this is back four. Yep, that knocks out. I've definitely been hit by this shit before. Safe phone block counter hit tool. This is 13 frames. Holy shit. This is a very fast move. So anytime you're at even plus a little bit, just boom. Hell, you diss into itself. It's kind of like a. Well, not that. Oh, he ends that right foot forward, so you can't go really go. You can't do it twice back to back, but uh, any sort of even remotely small amount of plus frames, you could like probably throw this out and beat anything that's not a jab. You do like a zero on, on block even and throw this out afterwards and it'll exchange for 13 frame moves. 13 frame mids. Uh, sorry. Oh. Okay, 30 frame mid exchange. 
I mean, you can jab him, of course, yeah, or, or do an 11 frame. But you do anything, uh, basically just about any mids. There's only a few 12 frame mids in the game. You don't have to worry about that shit so much. <laughs> Homicide is an uh, interesting guy. <laughs> You should look up on YouTube the uh, Samoa Joe and CM Punk telling a story about homicides. Uh, CM Punk has a hilarious homicide impression. So back force is definitely a very good move. It looks like he auto sidesteps to his left. Well, whatever. He recovers. Yeah, it does. You can see it here clear, pretty clearly. He's off axis a bit. Uh, and the camera's all weird, right? Uh, he definitely recovers it right foot forward, though. And this doesn't look like you can avoid that. So your chunk, your juggle will... That will determine what juggle you do. Um, and it is only negative nine. Yep, yep, yep. Next, we got up back three. I didn't test the tracking on that, sorry. I always forget. Yeah, a move like this shouldn't fucking track. 13 frames, man? Probably to, to his left, if I already guessed, yeah. It looks like it would, right? It moves him in that direction, so you can only assume that it would. Wow. Ooh, he's lucky. It looks like he's ducking it, not that he's sidestepping it. Wow, it was working before. <laughs> Weird. Alright. Maybe not really that consistently. I don't think it's gonna catch right. Oh, wow, it catches. So, I guess maybe that's just the sidestep animation going under it, because it's like a high high, it's super high. Right? That, that kind of thing just happens with that kind of move. Oh, maybe even a back dash will get away from it. Yep. Back dash is pretty good against one on too, looks like. That gets you all the way from a lot of the counter and shit. Look at that. All of the counter hit tools lose to backdash uh, in, the, in, in the even situation, even at a plus one situation, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, back for the skyrocket probably works. I don't know if you got a full jump. Are you able to get a full launch out of this as like a just frame? Like a just frame, just frame, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this is the kind of stun that weapons be jabs. Okay, no, it floats. The jab floats. So skyrocket might not be what you do after that. You know, you just, and you do, you are, you are gonna float them sideways. You could sidestep and do something, maybe. Uh, if they dodge, you mean sidestep? Back forward to skyrocket? What do you, what do you mean? Uh, Lion, what do you mean, specifically? Because back forward on counter hit is a juggle starter. There's no dodging. Like, on counter hit, you get, you get a stun. Oops, sorry. Talking about his counter hit tools. That, that's why. His counter hit tools, you can backdash. So backdash is really good against him. Not to mention, even if it is a skyrocket, you'll block it. Oh, on normal hit skyrocket? No, on normal hit, that's only like plus two. I mean, that would depend on the skyrocket itself's uh, tracking. Oh man, two piece side. Better on one piece side. 
it's also slow. Yeah, no, Skyrock doesn't seem to have any real tracking. Built into it, at least. You need a lot of plus frames. But, uh, if they backdash or sidestep throw that shit out, wait. If they, like, if they backdash to back four. Nah, because you can just backdash the stand block. I mean, they probably won't be able to punish it at that range, but, you know, back that you can block during in second. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Back that she's really good against one on, right? Because uh, it's, it's not like amazing. There is no like one size fits all answer, right? You know, that's just not really a thing in second, unless the character is shitty. Uh, but I suggest back dash because you escape like all of his counter hit tools will whiff, and then you can whiff punish. So that forces him to like chase you down with other buttons or to do long range moves, right? So backdash just seems really good. But if he's too many plus frames, if he's like at plus eight or shit, you're not gonna backdash. Like uh if that jab would hit me instead of block I block it, I could backdash, right? Maybe it'll be better to do it with the bot. Let's go for one two, right? So yeah, the one two, he's able to backdash. What if the one two hits him? He's able to backdash, right? So the one two pushes back. Um, what's a better example? Staggard. Okay, there you go. Better example. One, it's a back one, right? Well, plus one on block, he backdashes. What if I hit that jab? Let's see. Oh, he still can. What about on hit back to? Oh, he can. Yeah. Damn, even at plus eight. Four one on. Fuck one on. He deserves that shit. <laughs> plus five. Yeah, so yeah, his counter hit tools, they just don't move forward at all. Except for forward one plus two. But if uh, it's off of a single jab, it'll keep him still, whether it's on hit or on block. Ah! <laughs> Finicky, huh? One of those. Alright, then here's an example. On hit. Yeah, on hit, they can't. They, they don't have enough frames to backdash. But he can block. Alright. He deserves it. He deserves any BS coming his way. Um, next is. That was back four, right? So back four is definitely a good move. 13 frame, high counter hit starter, safe on block, right? Up uh, back three. That's a funny looking move. <laughs> Ooh, is that normal count? That's a uh, normal hit. That's a normal hit combo starter tailspin. That's a normal hit to it string to go into right foot, right foot mango. Is this right? Um. RB Norway says this is plus three on block. It's right flaming, all right. What's the fastest? Fourteen. 13, okay. That's plus three. That's a 13 frame jab out of, out of his uh, left flamingo. That's plus three. I don't know if that means much, because his left flamingo moves are kind of slow. That's plus three. That's kind of nuts. It is mid-high. 
Well, that was always high risk. You could play him as low risk. It's like you could play any character as low risk. Look at that spacing. It's a big whiff. But that's a normal hit juggle starter. And even the mid option that goes to right flamingo is safe on block. Ah, that's negative four. I don't have a 12 frame move that I know about. If I do a 13 frame move, it catches me. See? So that's negative four. It's a right flamingo. I gotta restart my playlist. Let me just refresh this real quick, guys. I didn't put enough songs. Ooh, it's loading like crap. You just want his old Flamingo Lows back. They straight have deleted him. I don't really know what he used to have in his old Flamingo Lows. I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> My dog's an asshole. Uh, so yeah, up back 3-3 three, three seems like a really damn good move, man. It's a mid-juggle. It's also a tailspin. Seems like it's low damage. That is plus on hit. Plus nine. It says negative seven because of the flamingo. It doesn't know how to read it. But RB always says plus nine for the question mark. High seems to track fairly well if you do sidestep it. Ah, the mid doesn't track all that well at all. It tracks in that direction. The high tracks in both directions though. Can't step them after the first hit in either direction, I guess. Yeah, you can't step them at all. Does that mid have any counter hit properties? It doesn't. Nothing. You're a ball player now? <laughs> Alright, um... Alright. Up back four. This is a popular round starter. Because it's hard to whiff punish. Like, you probably won't whiff punish it at all. Did I see that right? Home surgery? <laughs> what a great name for a move. I thought he would have a like Korean name for his move. Rejector, rejection, right jab, psychic. Flying eagle. Left kicks to backlash. Ah, good old backlash. Chainsaw heel. Disrespect. <laughs> What's the switch? Rusty knife. Push hands. Double claymore. Sick. Middle claymore. Firecracker. Ankle biter to right flamingo. <laughs> Dynamite heel. Stealth needle. Bolt cut, left plasma blade, 
course. Nosebleeder. Flamingo Shuffle. Riffle Shuffle. Fadeaway Kick. That's what I'm looking for right now, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. You can't, you basically, it's impossible to whip punish this almost. I ran in a jab. Damn. That wasn't a punish. Point being, it's actually quite difficult to whip punish. What's up, Silver Suitcase? How you doing, man? Yeah, it doesn't do anything else, really. Maybe it's an okay round ender, but. Oh, if you float him, ooh, you definitely don't want to use that one up close. I wouldn't recommend it. Get fucked up. Alright, so up back four is kind of whatever. Um, next on the list is up three. Oh, this is where you start talking about this move, huh? So that's a combo starter, plus three otherwise, and it goes to the left flamingo. It seems like plus it's a left flamingo is kind of whatever, right? Because he doesn't have the crazy launcher, the A-frame launcher. See, we exchange his ja his fastest move exchanges with a jab on block. So it's like it's almost like you consider it like a plus zero, like a zero neutral situation, pretty much. Yeah. That's a combo starter on normal hit, though. How good of a crush is it? Um, oh, it's a high. Okay, good. Mm. Okay. So you can't really like punish him bad if he if he ducks it and goes into the jab. If he if he uh goes over a crouch jab, that's what I'm about to say. It's still slow though, so if you do duck you could really fuck him up. But you gotta actually have a wall standing, so it's not that bad on with. It's also shitty range, and it's slow startup. So you can backdash away from it. Uh, I adopt his tracks, but I'll test it. Harness your Quan, chat! Hardest the Quan. Uh, can he crush a jab though after the up three? Good question. I'll test in a second. So there's no tracking on this. He could do a hunting hawk from left flamingo, so I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say yes. So 
it. That's his trade-off. That's what it seems to be the general thing. Because in Red Flamingo, I don't know what his low crushes are. Other than um, up forward three, that, which is a high. Right? I just looked through his move this real quick, right? I'm starting to like put it all together. The Tetris blocks are falling into place, right? Here's what I think right now before I look this up. Right Flamingo, the reason he gets so many plus frames to go with the right Flamingo is because he doesn't have a good low crush. Left Flamingo, he gets less plus frames and he has slower moves, but he has better low crush. So versus right Flamingo, you challenge with a cross jab. Versus left flamingo, you try you try to challenge with sidesteps or actual buttons, quick buttons. That's what I think. Cause from right flamingo he has an eight frame counter hit juggle starting hot. So look, let's look through the right flamingo moves real quick. He just switches stances, right? You got the left punch. Right punch. That kick, that high kick, see it's high. But it transits into left flamingo. He has that shit. That's the high counter starter. That's the overhead kick that starts juggles. That's the low juggle starter. There's the low knockdown low. There's that other launcher. There we go. There's the other one. So this is actually kinda dangerous. That's the mid, right? Back four. Alright. So I wanted to test um, So cross stab it, it hits him but absorbs the armor. But that's unsafe. So if you bait this out of him with cross jabs, that's his only option to blow up cross jabs in a lot of situations, unless he's heavy plus, right? But if you bait this out of him, it's unsafe. Negative 12. Uh, does right foot lingo stance up forward three crush lows? Nah, right foot lingo up forward three is a different move. But you already caught yourself there, so you know that. Yeah, up forward three is a high. So if you were to challenge right foot lingo with a crouch jab, and he, he goes for that, you're gonna duck under it. And then it's kind of whatever, you reset the situation, right? What time is it? It's 5.42. I kind of got to end this soon, but I still got to pee. I think I make a progress there, though. All right? Let me see. Yeah, I'm almost at the wall standing moves. I'll call it at the wall standing moves. <coughs> All right, people. Back to work. Uh, so that was... Up three. Right. Next we got up four. So it's about it's like up three, but it's zero on block, uh, plus eleven on hit. Great example I'm talking about here. And you hit him before armor starts up. I think armor needs eight frames to start up. This is zero on block, right? This sets up the high counter, I'll bet, and you'll be unable to stand jab, right? See? Does he have a 10 frame out of that? 
No, only 13. It's either 8 frame high or 13 frame high for fast moves. So the next fastest move out of 8 frames is a high is 13 frames and then he has 12 frame mids. 13 frame high and then 12 frame mids. So this shit is really what makes you have to respect right flamingo. Like this is what stops you from mashing. Uh, this shit. You gotta duck and launch that shit. Uh, I'm on both PC and PS4. Alright, so... Up 4 is plus 11. So you can't really, like, challenge it <laughs> on hit. Well, you can still duck, at least. So what's the slowest move? Sixteen frames. Yeah, if that shit hits you, you can't press anything. So this is a great way to test the tracking on Right Flamingo right now. This is a zero on block move. So, let's go back here. Let's go left first. What loses to sidestep left? So the launcher will hit you for sidestepping left. And obviously the forward four tracks in both directions, I already know that. That's a homie, I think, right? I think that's a homie move. I that's a homie move. So he has a mid option, a slow mid option, but he has one. Like I said, that tracks. One of the hits with if you go the other direction though. I'm about to test any other direction. Oof. I didn't know that that low was so bad on, uh, I guess, sidestep. Okay, so that low, the, the other low tracks well. I mean, you can add me if you want, but uh, I haven't been playing online too much, in all honesty. I've been doing uh, this lab work a lot more. Uh, my Steam is up there, you see it. Okay, so, huh. It's hard to, like, think about which way to sidestep. And the only thing I could say is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, unsafe on block, right?
negative 15. So, if you want to sidestep to your left and stand block, you could blow that up, move up real hard. Because the thing is, I don't know about, I don't know about, if you're going to choose a sidestep right for Mango, I think it's a very bad idea to fully commit. I think. The homing move is slow, right? That's slow. So you can sidestep it to stand block, and it is unsafe. Right? So, if you sidestep towards your left, you're gonna bait him to get greedy if they know what they're doing, right? And then they'll throw that out. If they throw that out, you can launch them. It's like a tactic I used to suggest people do against Marduk. Because people would say, oh, si uh, sidestep. Some people would say, sidestep towards Marduk's uh, right. Some people would say this. Because you avoid his launcher, his down forward one. I'm like, no, fuck out of here. So you, so in the older game, you sidestep towards Marduk's right. You sidestep towards his safe on block shit, the pokes, the shit. You know, that's super high rewarding stuff, but still good shit. So you sidestep towards his left when you stand block, you bait out the launcher, but it's unsafe. And you can actually punish him with your sidestep. I don't know, that's the way I think about it at least, right? So what's up to do, yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, that's all you really gotta see, right? 15 frames. Punish it, punish it, punish it. How about Shadow Block, actually? If you were to backdash. No, you still got it. Whiff. What about that uh, low out of that? Ah! Ooh! <laughs> I like seeing that right there. Nah, I like seeing that. That obviously wouldn't happen if he hit me. Right? No, you're, 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 you had a fucking guess. So that's another, that's another good thing you can say consistently for Hua Dong. Uh, you have to guess if he hits you. If he hits you with these transitions, you gotta be careful. Yeah, that's plus three. That's why I'm testing it here. Same thing here. Yeah, he's at plus. That's like one of the only situations... Maybe more. Maybe there's more situations I don't remember at the moment. But that's one of the easiest ways to go plus on block into the flamingo, and you won't be sidestepping it there. Let me test uh, this again. If you were to size up to your right every time you go to Flamingo, they're not even they shouldn't even really try this. But they'll try it if they see you going the other way. And you'll get yourself a launcher by baiting it out. Ooh. Didn't that track before? Huh. Yeah, size step right is overall really better to make everything with though. Okay. Alright, you got the idea. Actually, while I'm here, let me test the other options. The uh, left flamingo stuff.
How do you do that overhead axe kick? There it is. Yeah, that looks like a linear move anyway. That's a normal hit combo starter. Man, he has to rely on the homie move for left flamingo. I, someone said earlier that the left flamingo has shit tracking. Woof. Look at that, nothing. Damn, man. His tracking sucks. Mingle stuff. Next we have this one. This is a normal juggle starter and if I'm not mistaken, despite this being very low and it is safe on block, this um, this crushes lows very quick, if I recall correctly. Uh, how do I put him at negative five? Negative three. Let's try negative three. Spacing might have fucked with that. Block, block. Um. So uh, this this is probably just a spacing thing. It is negative six. As you can see, I'm putting myself at negative six and I'm still low crushing. Yeah, this is as fast as low other than the uh So uh, that's a solid low crush. Can I put him any closer with worse? That's a space thing, fuck. By the way, negative seven, he's jumping over uh, 16 frame low. So nine frames crush. Uh, Negative eight. You can't crush that. All right, eight frame crush. All right, he lost it at negative ten. So there's no six frame crush. Can I put him at negative nine with anything? That won't work because he's in uh he can't do it from the sense, can he? He can. Ooh, he can. Alright, there you go, that's where he loses it. Oops. 
He loses it right at uh, negative, negative nine. I got a text message. Sorry, I gotta answer this. So at negative nine is when he can't crush the 16 frame low. So it needs about eight frames, I guess, to crush. Oops. So yeah, he gets, uh, what is it, down three, four to pick up. He might get some better stuff, but I know he can pick up with that. Um, and it is safe on block. Doesn't track, obviously, it's too slow. Also, uh, it's so slow, and it doesn't have that much range. Yeah, see, so if he wants to do a backdash cancel, this is a good situation to show you what I mean by backdash cancel. Like, um, this is one way to use it, right? It's a beta whiff. So, like, one is not good enough, right? Oh, you hit me there, though. You might be able to, you might be able to, because it's slow enough. I don't know, maybe not. I mean, it's just, this is not that slow, so. So you can't really do it. Well, you can probably back that to sidestep. Maybe not. <laughs> it's not that slow. But it is safe on block. And that's up plus B plus four. Next we got up forward two. Oh, this is a bound move. I don't know what's the purpose of it now. Maybe the floor break. This is plus on block, so it does have a purpose. Forces crouch plus five on block. It says pl only plus four on hit, so it's better on block. And on counter hit, you get a free follow up. Nice. About the. Rage drive. Well, he only gets the first hit, so that's no good for that. Plus five. And forces crouch. So this is good. It seems good. This is this is not a troll move. Uh, it's a slow and uh, it's a slow plus on block move. Forces crouch. You know where you use this? Tech. When they tech. I don't know if it was this good before, but like let's see. Right, you do whatever, right? Um What's a knockdown move that doesn't spike? Whatever. Um, all right, let's say. Damn, he gets stuck in the fucking. He doesn't have like a normal knockdown move. <laughs> he kind of doesn't have that. Whatever. They tech, right? You set it up after like a wall combo. What's a wall combo? Anybody got a wall combo for this clown? Give me an example of a wall combo, somebody. Anybody got a wall combo? 
Sasuke isn't around anymore. He's just probably asleep by now. Uh, get, just give me something. Anything. Everything ends with a spike for him. Alright, here we go. Let's make this, um... Whiplash, right? Timer right though, right? I know you get I know you could get this. <laughs> Is it not too early? There you go. Right? The test is even better. We're gonna he's gonna get up he's gonna uh, tech left and then try to sidewalk left. Deep dash, deep dash. Couldn't do it, could he? What if he goes the other way now? Tech right and a sidewalk right. Oh man, why am I fucking up? It's not even a hard input. Deep dash, deep dash. combo might not be the best <laughs> be best but um i would know i know that he would get off of a wall combo that if you couldn't tech because then the spacing wouldn't be an issue like it is for that one he has to dash and then do it but it's like a popular thing with dragon off for example you do the the back two shoulder or the down back two one two then they tech it and you sidestep and the back one plus two they're forced to block it they can't move and he's at plus six if they don't block it they get hit he stomps right that's dragon off so in the case of Huang. If he does whatever fucking wall combo, right, and then does that right after you tech, you're forced to block. If you get hit, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but if you happen to bash, 
if you catch somebody mashing when they tech, you fucking get a, 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 a grounded hit and you get a free follow up. His happens to crush them and lose too, so that's a nice little bonus. It's not like an amazing move, but that's usually how you use those kind of moves. Turn this shit off. Alright. <coughs> Alright, up forward three. This is obviously the um, Hunting Hawk. Negative six on block. So it won't go further than that unless they backdash and then. Wait, how the hell do you block the 3 4? Oh, Hunting Hawk, you block the 3 4. It's the third hit he doesn't do, right? Yeah, he only gets the first two hits if you block it. Third hit only works if um, if the if the second hit connects the first and second hit. This is weird. So Haunting Hawk is one of those that guard breaks you. If you bought the first hit and let go, the second hit is going to hit you. So you want to hold back. Right? Yeah, I know. I do that shit too. Yeah, you got a brain fart and then you get fucked up. Um, it says something weird here. It says up forward three, four, one second hit inputted gives you different frame data, like unsafe on block. I don't get what they're talking about because you input the second hit regardless. Whatever. Um, this breaks floors now. This used to be a bomb. But now you use it for that slam down and it'll break the floor for you to continue your, your juggle, obviously. The first two hits are a combo starter. So a safe on block, low crushing combo starter. Yet another one for him, right? Not quite hop kick because it's so slow, but he has that. And uh, it's pretty linear and it's a big whip if he, uh, if he jump over it. Yeah, it's a pretty active hitbox. That's what was happening when you try to side set to my left. But if you were to sidewalk, see? So it's super linear. You just gotta be careful if you uh, if it whiffs and then you swing too early, it might clip you. Well, I guess in that case it didn't whiff. But if you try to like, if you sidestep it and you see the slow ass startup and you try to swing too early. It'll clip you if you're not careful. That's happened to me before. Like that. Even though if I press nothing, it whiffs. I just sidestep. It clips you if you try to hit, if you try to swing at it. It's weird. Just let the whole thing whiff, and then launch them. You might get an odd angle, so you might have to do a weird juggle that's not as good as your usual juggles, so keep that in mind, too. Oh, what well, was not a bound? Alright, good to know. It definitely spikes now, where you're going to want to hold back, or you get some sort of free follow-up, right? Ah, this fucking strength. So here, it 
So it's all natural combo, and you can tack on the extra mid in the end. Uh, that extra mid makes it negative 13 on block. Without that extra mid, it's only negative 10. But it does end with a high. I don't know if it jails, though. It's up 4, 3 plus 4. Yeah, it jails, so you can't duck that high. Negative 13. Without that extra mid in the end. Negative 10. Then he blocked the 14. Uh, 11 frames rather. He's blocking 11 frame high. Yeah, it's a good move. Because he moves forward so much. So, and it's kind of hard to escape it. And I don't really know if it really tracks per se. Yeah, it doesn't really track, but he moves forward so much that it's like hard to punish him. And then you actually like stories like that where it clips you sometimes. See? That's the kind of thing where if you fuck up and you try to whiff punish him by dashing in after it whiffs, you might run into that back turn plasma blade or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, that's 14 frame startup. So this is a 14 frame punish also. Not great damage. And not great frame advances either, but it's got a lot of range, so you'll punish a lot of shit that a lot of other characters can't punish. Or we'll have trouble punishing. So that's really what it's about. In a neutral situation, I wouldn't use it too much. Though some people can't help themselves, right? Next we got the forward forward move. So forward forward three. This is really a spike move. Uh, sorry, it's more than spike move. This is a. Um, this is where I was trying to use this before. This is. I didn't know this was this plus. Am I saying this right? All right. Left foot forward 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 three is plus six on block. But in the case of. Uh, while this is also like this plus five and four is crouch, so it might as well be plus six. This leaves him in the left foot forward, right? Uh, this leaves him in right foot forward or plus six. So you could use, and this will be more consistent off of a tech. If they try to tech it, and you just bam right there. This is a popular setup off of a tech. Because on hit, uh, on hit, it's the same thing. Plus six. There it is. So on hit and on block, it's pretty much the same thing, amusingly enough. Uh, but on hit, it forces crouch. On block, it doesn't. So this is a way to tack off some damage if they're doing something. If they're trying to move. And if they don't, if they block it, you're, you're at an advantage. So this is one of those things where if he does this on you on Oki, and it hits grounded, by the way. I'm pretty sure it still does. Yeah. And you do four, uh, it, it pushes you back like anything else that hits you grounded and you're not near the wall. But because it leaves him in right foot forward, right foot forward, four, four, three is the jumping one that'll go across the screen. So it kind of sets itself up pretty well. The old school tech trapping forever. But you can make it whip with that back at him. It beats out wake up kick. If you tech uh, towards the foreground, you're right, you have to block it. 
tech. Either way, you have to block it. You stand straight up. It beats out any wake-up kick. It exchanges with spring kick. It exchanges with uh, mid wake-up kick. And holding back makes it whiff. So instead of making an exchange, you gotta make a whiff if they go for this. And then side roll makes it whiff too. But your rewards aren't kinda whatever, right? Try to stay down and roll. Yeah, that's not a punish. So if you're gonna try to like set up a wave punish, hold back and then bam. That's a classic setup, yeah. You can't um You can. Can he instant while running different right foot forward? You can. But while running three doesn't hit grounded. It'll beat out the wake up kicks and shit. And it'll beat you out you holding back, right? So you have to block that, but if I stay down for while running three, it's Whiff City. But there isn't much risk involved in while running three, is there? Trying to get the spike so you can't attack. So, yeah, you'll get the chase down and you'll get the plus on block whenever while running three is, but you don't, you lose to them staying around it. But it's not an awful option. You, you don't get punished too hard for that shit. Hold on, I think my friend's texting me. 622, I really have this. Yeah, I definitely have to go soon. Alright, um... So, 444 is the next one. We talked about 444 before. It's the near. It is, uh... Oh, I didn't talk about that move. I skipped that move somehow. I'll talk about that in a second. That's a big one, actually. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll make that the last one I'll talk about. I'm going to talk about 444 and then up forward 444 series. Okay, then I'm going to call it for today. Because I have to take care of some shit. This is negative 6 on block, but it pushes back. So, if anybody tries to challenge you... Um, you are in right foot forward also, by the way. So, you got to prepare whatever your right foot forward with Punisher is, right? Maybe down forward, too. Try to jab after that. No, you're good. Okay. Okay, you could challenge that. I guess it's not a generic down forward too. It moves them forward a lot more. It seems like. Um, what would be the go-to launch with punish? Forward form.
Oh, why is he doing that? How did I do the, the, the plasma blade? I just did it earlier. I don't know how I did it. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. I did it by accident. That's why. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't work good for that situation. But you definitely notice that I'm whiffing my one jab and the two jab is hitting him, so it opens you up, for sure. Maybe not for a launch. Uh, you know what probably will, will, he, will he really fuck you with that? That's where he'll fuck you. It just takes a while. Uh, thanks, Jay Shot. I appreciate it. Not everybody's inclined to watch a uh, guy sit here for three uh, to four hours and try to figure out a character's move list, but <laughs> I'm glad some people like it. Alright, well, that, that there's a big gap there, so maybe it's not that dangerous, but I still wouldn't recommend swinging at it, because you can also, with that much space, sidestep. With that much spacing, and he'll fuck you up for that shit, for sure. Right, something like that. Let's see what happens if I swing at that. Alright, maybe not so much. Alright, well, I guess because he's stuck in right foot forward, he can't attack super fast for anything too crazy. Alright, maybe he's not as bad as I thought. He'll still interrupt you, that's for sure. With the shit I did earlier, right? Like, what's the... Like, is that fast? Oops. Small frame high. That's slow. There you go. See? That's a good example. Spacing matters, of course. There you go. Good example. Uh, let's see here. What stick am I using? I'm using the Itoki Omni. Korean edition. Uh, NBFU says... Hey, it's my first second ever played, and I may hold on. Hope I can learn a thing or two by watching. Uh, my friend, I'm about to actually end it for today, but I will be uploading it to the YouTube. Scroll down. I always upload my streams to the YouTube. So I, I've been going through Hold On for about a little over three hours. Actually, no, sorry, almost four hours. Longer than I intend, uh, intended intent <laughs> originally. Uh, and I will be doing a part two to finish off Hold On. So 444 is a good move. It's a, it's a popular move to use randomly. You'll see even like the best one-on players like to just throw this shit out. Speed Kicks does it all the fucking time, right? From like a space distance. And as you saw, if he follows it up with 4-4, four, with four, four, when you block it from space, you're going to get eaten alive, right? So you want to try to make this shit whiff and launch him with a sidestep. Not a back dash. If you back dash away from it, you're going to be too far to whiff punish him. If you are one-on... Good move. You kind of like 
randomly or throw it around or what do you think they're gonna try to come in is bad keep it back it's a good move to maintain space if you have a life lead you can sit on a life lead and just chip away at the try to chip away at their health with a couple of these two of, you hit it with two of these you're basically like you're almost at a at a juggle like two and a half of these is like a juggle so good move and uh, so the last one I'm going to talk about today is this move. This is fucking cheap, right? Up 4-4 four, four by itself is nothing special. It's like negative 1 hit. I don't think the second bot is right here. Uh, RB Norway says negative 2 on block plus 4 on hit, right? Uh, and he lands in uh, right flamingo stance. We could test negative 2 right now. That's 8 frames, so I should exchange with a jab. Yeah, see? Negative 2 on block. We exchange an A-frame high with a 10-frame jab. Uh, up forward, 4-4 four, four is 0 on block and plus 6 on hit. And that also goes... No, that goes to right foot forward. Uh, right foot forward... Okay. Let's record that. Make sure that's right. No, that does go to Flamingo. Sorry, I was too slow, I guess. So now my jab is going to lose, right? Yeah, see? Here's where it gets fucked up. The third hit, up forward 4 4 4, is a low, right? That low is plus one on block. Plus on block low. And you cannot low parry it if the, if the other. I don't think you can low parry it at all. Yep, you have to block it. Plus one on block, and you cannot low parry it. <laughs> and if I try to wall standing, you see? So how do you beat this move? You gotta make it whiff. You know? If you make it whiff, he's stuck in right flamingo, he can't do shit. But if you block this, you have to guess the mix-up. If you get hit, he's still plus. You can't challenge. Uh, you can backdash. If it hits you, yeah. If it hits you, I think you can stand still and it whips. See? Well, not the second hit, though. But if you hold back, it seems like you'll make it whiff. You don't even need a back dash. And then you can whiff punish. Yeah. So, that's the th that's the rules for this move. If you block it, you're stuck in place, so you can't really... Um... Well, you, you could still. You're not really stuck in place. Uh, so backdash seems to be the thing to do here, and he'll have to chase you down with the slower moves, even though he's at plus on block and on hit here. But don't block this and try to challenge it. You're going to get counter hit launched. Um, if it's just the last hit that hits you, it launches, probably on counter hit. I don't know how to set that up here. That's really hard to set up. Alright, the first time it hit him there, it was just a low, right? That doesn't look like it. Nah. At least not from that spacing. Yeah, nah. I'm mashing. Oh, I'm not getting counter hit, though. Maybe. Hey, used to. Uh, the Omni Stick is good, Jay Shadow. It's just like I showed this off before, right? So first off, if I shake it like crazy, I'm only going down. My down switch is broken. If I just kind of like make him duck here for a second. Let's see. There you go. Whoop. There you go. See that? So this uh, mine kind of came out the box like this. It wasn't this bad. It took some wear and tear to get this bad. But the down switch was always super se extra sensitive for me. For whatever reason. So I have to get replaced the stick. Not the whole stick though, thankfully. That's only like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks after shipping to replace that. But yeah, my guy was stuck ducking there because the switch is fucked up. So anyway, this move's fucked up. It's plus seven. You know, the, the bot is not right about it, obviously. But it is plus seven if he, if he hits you with the low. Uh, you can also just end it at, uh, looks like you can end it right foot forward. Does this always go to Flamingo? No, it looks like it always goes to Flamingo. I'm just too slow. Yeah, you have to like, press the follow-up right away. It's Flamingo for sure. 
And yeah, this is, uh, you just gotta know that it's Lanier. It's Lanier as hell. Forward, four, four, four. It's very Lanier. Um, that first jumping high is 22 frames, so it's also a slow move. Uh, you could try to backdash this, maybe. Yeah, backdashing is okay, too. What if he sets it up with a jab? I'm gonna stop here today for the move list, but I'm gonna give you a little quick recap, right? For you knew who you knew who one on player is like the person that asked me earlier, right? NB was it HBFU, right? So you knew the Tekken, right? One one rule you gotta remember in Tekken is most of the cast, outside of a few cases like Asuka uh, and Jack, uh, could start their pressure with a jab. Actually, Asuka could start her pressure with a jab, but it almost almost the whole cast has a 10, 10 frame standing jab when you press one. Which is square on the PlayStation controller, uh, X on the Xbox controller. Uh, this is a one jab, right? They're all, except for Jacks, they're all 10 frames. Uh, and they're almost all plus one on block, right? Except for Oscars and Jacks, obviously. And maybe more, I don't know. Right, see? Plus one. You see my bot on the left, the plus one on the top middle, on the left side? Uh, so this is always a universal way to start jabs, right? So you, you could start your poking and any offense with a jab. And 10 frames is typically the fastest move outside of like a handful of moves. We're talking like maybe three or four moves when you're both in a standing situation with you facing each other, back turn, things get a little weird. And like Quadong has an A frame move, uh, uh, like I said before, the right flamingo forward four, sorry. Uh, that double kick, that's eight frames. So, but in a neutral situation when you're both standing, 10 frames is typically fastest jab. So then you want to get a quick mid poke to go with that. Huang has a very good one. Down forward plus one. Down forward plus square. Down forward plus X if you're on Xbox. This is a good 13 frame mid poke, right? 13 frames uh, is pretty fast. Uh, there's some mids from standing that are 12 frames. Those are very rare. So 13 frames is nice. And then you want to gonna you're good. That's a good fast mid poke. He has more good mid pokes, but that's his fastest, right? Then you wanna, you're gonna wanna mix that up with like a go-to low poke, right? He has a few good ones. Down back three, down back plus X on the PlayStation control, down back plus A on the Xbox control. This is a good low poke, and it happens to crush highs. What that means is it ducks jabs, right? So if I record, oops. if I record him going jab, it's a down back three, and if I try to jab or go high, He's gonna go under it, see? So that's a good low poke. Another great low poke is down back plus four, circle on the PlayStation control, B on the Xbox control, it's a forward. That's a low poke, it's a flamingo stance, right flamingo stance. You see how his leg is up when you hold forward? That is actually very good, because it's safe on block. It's actually only negative one on block, which is like crazy. And it sets up his right flamingo stuff, like right flamingo forward four for counter hit. So that, and then down three four also sets up right flamingo on uh, natural combo on normal hit. Down three four automatically goes to the right flamingo. So that right flamingo forward four is a frame trap. Oh, one thing I forgot to check about that actually. Yeah, it pushes back. Ooh, so he can't really... I wouldn't recommend following that up with uh, forward four, right flamingo forward four, but it is plus on, plus on hit. So it does set up other right, fl right, right flamingo stuff. Uh, so that's an important one too. It is low or high, so you can't get launched for it. But it's, I would recommend if you're against one on low parry. Look, when he's in his neutral stance, low parry him if you think low is coming. Don't block. Because of this shit, it's a flamingo and that shit. You don't want to, you don't want to go duck that and then eat that counter hit. Eight frame launcher. You don't want to do that. Uh, and yeah, and another good thing about Huarang is his one, two strings. If you press one, two, four, he'll go into right flamingo. If you press one, two, three, he'll go into left flamingo. And both are plus on block. So. 
that's good. That should also be his jab punch, in my opinion. So that you, you start with that and then just learn your flamingo options, right? So the right flamingo forward for like I said, eight frame counter hit juggle starter. If you do the if you do the follow-up. Um that. That's a counter hit juggle starter, right? The kicks. Uh, and then the next fastest thing in right flamingo is one no, the two jab, it looks like. Right? Yeah, the next fast, the next fastest thing in Red Flamingo is his two jab, which is a 13 frame startup instead. So that's a big window, eight frame startup to 13 frame startup. That's a big gap. So the whole, the whole thing about Red, Fl Red Flamingo is the forward four is to stop people from mashing, and then you start doing the slower stuff, like that shit. That's 16 frame startup, but it's launch punishable on block. That's, that's what you got to keep in mind. And then the left flamingo, it seems like the uh, he has better low crush options to stop people from crouch jabbing because he can do hunting hawk to launch them, right? Uh, and then his other options, he doesn't have like the eight frame counter hit juggle starter, but he has a uh, thirteen frame high. He has a ten frame jab. No, that wasn't a separate jump. I'm sorry. That was me being slow. I, I pressed it too slow. But. He has that 14 frame mid right there. And that's a natural combo. It's unsafe though. I'm going to go more, more in depth over the Flamingo option specifically in part two for sure. Because that's going to come up on the move list. But yeah. I mean. If you're anti Huanang, I would recommend a lot of back dashing. Even when things hit you, try to backdash, just hold back so you block. Well, you don't have to hold back to block anymore during backdash, but still. Uh, I would recommend cautious sidewalking. Sidewalk and then stand block. Don't fully commit to a sidewalk and stay sidewalking. Because then you're going to start eating homie moves and shit like that. Like sidewalk for like a step and then block. And then cancel it to a stand block. I would recommend a lot of that, I guess, one of Go like, you know, side stepping is kind of iffy depending on the situation of the move, right? But sidewalking seems much better. And I think it was my sidewalk right to get around his lows, I think, right? Yeah, see? Yeah. A lot of sidewalk right into stand block. Otherwise, that kind of shit will catch you. Uh, yeah, that's where to start. So, uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, follow the stream if you want more of this. Uh, then I guess I'll do part two either tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then Tuesday for sure. So tomorrow, Tuesday, I'll do part two of this, and hopefully I'll finish them off. Uh, and I upload everything to the YouTube downstairs if you scroll down. Uh, you don't have to donate or pay to ask questions either. So whenever I'm screaming, if you have a question and I catch it, I'll answer it, you know? So, that's it. That's the wrap for today. Hope you guys learned something. I sure did. I learned a lot. Until next time, adios. Laters.